Let's get down to business to make some cocktails. Happy hump day, everybody. My name is Cameron. It's Wednesday, in case you didn't get that from the fact that I referred to today as hump day, but it's kind of the end of the day, so we're over the hump. And as we all know, after you've gotten over the hump and into the, the corresponding valley that comes afterwards, you gotta treat yourself. So why not treat yourself to a cocktail this evening? I'd like to let everybody know that a very special day is coming up. In two days, I have my birthday. I turned 24. I'm so old. Not really. Although clearly, with the, with the adult apparatuses you see before you, I'm at least of an age older than a child. Because children should not be drinking this stuff. No, no, it might be green, but I assure you, you don't want your children sucking on this. Um, I mean, I guess unless they have like a toothache, apparently that's a thing, right? You give, you put a little whiskey in your child's mouth if they got a toothache when they're teething. My parents did not do that to me. Instead, they decided to, on my 13th birthday, to be like, hey, Cameron, you want some whiskey? He's not gonna like this. And I was like, that ain't bad. And my parents were like, oh! And uh, yeah, that's, that's when I became a mixologist. Sure. No, I became a mixologist in my early years of fraternity-ness because everyone was like, beer, 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 beer. And I was like, I don't really like it. And they were like, so, so you're a hard liquor kind of guy. And I was like, yeah, yes, I am. Anyway, I hope everybody is having a wonderful evening so far. If you're not, let's try to fix that if we can. We're going to make a cocktail this evening. It's from my big old book of 1001 cocktails. I, I, asked, I asked my roommate, Christina, for a prompt. And that was, I want you to point out two liquors in my collection, and we're going to make a cocktail out of them. So she picked Midori, the green stuff, and Blue Curacao, a.k.a. the blue stuff. And oh, so nice. we're doing a little bit of a, we're doing a little bit of a change up. I found in my cocktail recipe book a recipe called... The crocodile. It's kind of up on top. I don't really have a lot of space there. The crocodile. The crocodile is usually rather green. But we're going to make it a little less green because I'm going to put curacao in it. So it's going to come about as a little bit of a blue-green? Aquamarine, maybe? I don't know. That's what we're here to find out. And we're going to start this off wonderfully. Wonderfully, wonderfully. Now, before, as, as we all know, I don't have a portable, I don't have a portable, like, uh, like, uh, cooler yet. So I'm going to go get some ice. I'll be back. Don't think I've disappeared from you. I haven't forgotten about you. Don't worry. I still acknowledge your presence. Hi, everybody. The stream's still going. I didn't leave for anything. I'm definitely coming back. Unlike, unlike, I don't know, people who don't come back after, like, doing things. I don't know. Maybe, maybe somebody left to go get milk or something and they just never came back. Like, I don't know. That's, that's unfortunate. Um, my, my heart is with you folks. I am so sorry. Anyway. To make a crocodile, or rather, I'm not even gonna call it, I gotta call it something different. It's not really a crocodile. It's based on a crocodile. It's a crocodile, but instead of triple sec, we're subbing in for blue curacao because they're both orange liqueurs. Just one is blue and super syrupy. And that's kind of what we're going with this time. So I'm going to call it, I don't know, what's what's blue about a crocodile aside from like the water they go in? Like, crocodile tears? Crocodile tears? Tears are blue, but water is. That's, that's going to be a stretch. All right, we're going to call this tears of the crocodile because tears are water and water is blue. It's a couple of it's a couple of degrees of freedom away from absolute certainty in logic, but I think we can go with it. In any case, to make the tears of the crocodile, as we are now referring to it, we need to start ourselves off with two measures of vodka. I I think I used this last week, but uh, I didn't actually call it out specifically. I have this vodka from my hometown, Skunk Town Distillery. I'm not from Skunk Town, by the way. It's from Clinton, New Jersey. But they, they call themselves Skunk Town. And I want to say it's potato-based. I think it's a potato-based vodka, but it's interesting. Oh, it says Flemington. Excuse me. Flemington. Gotta give credit where credit is due. But I want to say it's... Is it done from hand-peeled potatoes, tomato paste, lemon juice, the, sam the simplest of ingredients, all locally sourced to create a smooth vodka with a mildly earthy finish. This is vodka you will enjoy neat and blend into all mixed drinks. I, I like the fact that they were bold enough to say, you will enjoy it neat. Well, I'm sorry, Skunk Town, but I am most definitely enjoying this as a mixed drink, as one should. But it's interesting. Most vodkas I've had just kind of smell like ethanol. This kind of smells a little bit more than ethanol, <laughs> which is which is interesting because vodkas are usually in neutral spirits. But I need two measures of this. I'm going to put in four because I'm making a double because I'm not the only I'm not drinking alone tonight. Thank God. I don't like drinking alone. Just kidding. I like. Wow. I just made a total mess on my. That's what I get for talking. All right. I need a. Um, 
roommate, can I request assistance of a towel? I've made a boo-boo. I've made a boo-boo. In any case, we're gonna add two more ounces, two more measures, two more measures, two more measures into my cocktail shaker. I don't know, this is actually a pretty, it's a pretty hefty drink. It's possible that I may actually run out of space in this, this little shaker here. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. We'll see. I also need a measure of triple sec. In this case, we're going with the Caracal. That's correct. Blue Caracal. It's pronounced Caracal. That's the, you can tell, you can see. Actually, all right. Usually, Curacao, the S sound, is going to be with the little C that's got the other C underneath it, little hook. And that's called a lime so I, No, it's not. I don't know what that thing's called. But anyway, uh, Haram Walker does not have the little C with the hook. So I can very aptly call this Blue Caracao because you didn't spell your shit right. So we're going to add two ounces of Blue Caracao. Usually one ounce, but we're making a double here because we, we, got, we got guests. We got guests. I don't want to spill this on my table. It's sticky. That'll be much more difficult to clean up. Oh, I spilled a little bit. But you know what? We often do. We often do. I also need to add one measure of Midori. That's going to translate to two in this case because of our proportions. We get it. We get it. Uh, it's somewhere down here. Yeah. I actually have... I use Midori quite often. So I have more than just a single bottle. I have two. I have a backup just in case I run out. Or, in case the first one is incredibly difficult to open, which right now it is proving to be so. Oh my god. I yeah. might need- I might need to get the rubber glove. Oh! I did it! I don't need the rubber glove this time! Thank god. The rubber glove is sitting underneath the table. Christina, you could help me with one thing if you don't mind. What? Can you grab me a towel? I've made a mess of vodka, and although it will probably evaporate on its own, I don't want to expect it to do that. Because I'm not an expectant person. If it feels like it, it will. Wow, there is so little left in that bottle. Well. I'm not using it this time. Green! We're going to add green to our mix. We've added white, blue, and green. I'm just gonna give you the whole thing oh, in case you're, oh, you do something dumb. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I very much appreciate it. Here, you wanna eat one of these? No. You want one? You want, you want no. What? Don't eat paper towels, everybody. Don't, don't take my example. If there's one thing that we've learned so far, please don't. I am not the role model here. Please don't follow my example. I do this because I'm enjoying myself and I like making a fool of myself, not because I'm trying to set a good example. Anyway, with that said, I, use, I never tag my videos as safe for children. Never. I would never do such a thing to a child. Never. I also need two measures of lemon juice, which is going to wind up being four measures of lemon juice. Wow, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of liquor in here. <laughs> smells good. I like that. So I got some lemons. I got some fresh lemons. Fresh lemons. That's 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 how I'm saying it today. Does, it, does anybody approve? Does anybody approve? Mom, do you approve? Dad? Anybody? It's okay. I approve. And for the purposes of this exercise, that is totally good. Also, I want to say now, I have no idea if this gets garnished with anything. And I feel that it would be inappropriate to garnish with a lemon. Because, like, how am I made? We'll see. We'll see what we feel like doing. Cut my... I really need to get a... I need to start using a bigger knife. Also, this table is so wobbly. This table is so wobbly. I don't want my glass falling again. So actually, what I did before stream started is I put a little... I have my Legos home now. I think I've mentioned before that my entire stream setup now has is held up by Legos um, instead of books because Legos are smaller. And honestly, it was a whole hell of a lot more fun to just build Legos while watching TV. It was, it was lovely. And I also have my table to give you an idea of how things are set up. My table is actually can it can we just show this? Let's let's see. This is how my table is set up and I will explain it in just a moment. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall. Can we see that? Can we see that down there? Yeah, we can just kind of see. Alright, it's it's a dark abyss down there. Oh. Hello everybody. It's a dark abyss down there. Let's not worry about it. There is a milk crate. On top of that milk crate is a wooden plank. On that wooden plank is an apparatus built out of Legos that has spots in just the right places to hold the table that is sitting on top of it. It is a wobbly. It is not supposed to be. But alas, we work with what we have, and it's not like I'm going to spend a bunch of money on a better setup, because I live on a budget. Everybody does. And if you don't live on a budget, you know, good for you. Good for you. I I'm sure you've earned it. I'm sure you've earned the fact that you don't need to live on a budget. In which case, I'm just saying, there's a donation link. And I'm just saying, this is good. Please don't. Don't donate. You don't need to. I have a job now. I don't need your money. 
I don't need it. However, if you do give it, I will be more than happy to put it towards good things. For example, charity. Got a charity stream coming up. Uh, December 4th. December 4th. In recognition of Jacksepticeye's thankmas efforts, we're actually putting on a little stream. Hashtag, team hashtag hippo hype is gonna be um, is gonna be making some making some good good, making some good dough for the good children, for the good families that lack homes. I believe the charity's name is New Story. Um, I will be conducting my stream on the fourth of December at around 10 a.m. And my buddy Lycos Lore, uh, the leader of hash team hashtag hippo hype, will be leading his charge on his stream day on December 11th at I believe noon and going until the wee hours of the day. So in case in case you'd like to drop some support, feel free to come by. I've got I've got messages in the Discord about it. It's on the stream schedule if you're keeping up with that. Um, and that's my that's my plug for this time. And I don't really like to do plugs like that because I just I don't know. I, I feel really awkward to like calls of action. Calls of action scare me. Like if you tell me, go to the store and buy a grapefruit today, I'm not gonna get a grapefruit. I'm not even gonna go to the store because you told me to. I'm just not going to. Uh power against authority. However, and, and naturally too, if if somebody says to me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, I'm gonna be like, dude, don't tell me what to do. You're not my parents. And I have the same feeling about the content that I put out. I'm not gonna wind up doing that. But like, in this case, I think it's a wonderful cause. They're building homes for uh, I think homeless people, or there's there's better documentation out about that uh, than what I can presently give here. But all that documentation will be very very easily obtained when on that stream day on that faithful day when we raise some money our goal is a whopping I believe it's either 400 or 500 dollars because last year lycos lore was able to to um raise 200 to which that was hilarious he got to the 200 dollar mark which i made the final donation of because he said he would eat an entire onion if we made it to that threshold and my god my god we made it to the threshold and he ate an entire onion on camera. However, the sucky part was the footage got corrupted. So there is no there is no video record of that happening. I think I think it was planned, personally. I think I think there was some uh, some corruption going on um, behind the scenes. Foul play, foul foul play. I think. But um, who am I to judge? Who am I to who am I to accuse and point fingers? But uh, I'm just saying it's possible that the uh, the content creator didn't want that to get out. So we're gonna have to make him. We got we gotta make him eat another onion. We got it. We got it. It has to happen. In any case, I've got about, you know, I need a little bit more in there. I've almost squeezed out four ounces of lemon juice. This takes a lot of effort, or rather, more effort than I'm usually willing to put in. It just it happens sometimes. It happens. It happens to us. It happens. I can put my tools away now, finally. Tools are done. That's four whole ounces, usually two measures, into my cocktail shaker. And move some of my fixins off. It's nice to have the table and and a desk because then I can kind of move things around. And hopefully things don't fall over. Oop! I just drop a pen. Who cares? Who cares, dude? I don't care. In any case, let's let's get this thing shaking. Let's get this thing shaking. There's a lot of liquid in there, so hopefully I don't make a mistake. Oh, there is most definitely. Mm. All right, there's way too much in this container. Excuse me, I need to go get a cup to put some of this stuff in. I did not expect this much liquor in one location. Haha! <laughs> There's too much liquor! Who knew? So I'm gonna shake it in two parts. I'm gonna shake it in two parts. I want one for me and one for the other one. So here, let's put some of that. Put some of that in there. There we go. There we go. Now, now we'll get a good seal. Yeah, that's a good seal. Alright, let's shake it, shake it. I'm trying to work on my shaking technique too. It's getting there. We'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I actually think I made this is this is a uh, yeah this is already a full cocktail on its own. And I brought the small glasses. Maybe that was a bad idea. In any case, I have a feeling that crocodiles are royalty, so I am going to pour them into the champagne flutes. And I have a lot of faith in this table right now because these are very nice glasses, and one has already broken. One says Mister, one says Mrs. The missus is mine. That's an inside joke. I wouldn't take it too personally. Let's strain this thing out and see what color we get. I think it's gonna be green. It looks green. It's very green. It's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be lovely, lovely. 
Lovely, lovely, lovely. Don't spill onto the table, please. Ooh! I like that color. Oh, I love that color. That's such a beautiful, like, emerald green. Wow. Big fan of that. And I think... I... Will I fill up the entire glass? No, okay, okay. I, uh, properly need to put the rest of this back in. So, let's shake the rest of it. That's a lovely, that's a lovely, lovely color. My goodness, that even looks good in this lighting. And I gotta say, I don't think the lighting is, like, that good, but... We're working on that. But I think this is, this came out wonderfully. Let's shake the rest of it. Just a quick one there. It's already kind of, half of it is already shaken. Not stirred. <laughs> I did watch, I did watch a James Bond movie the other night. I've never watched James Bond before. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. There's something about this spy dude who's attempting to be hidden, like literally sleeping with everybody. It's just a little, is not my style. In any case, this is what I'm calling Tears of the Crocodile. How about just Crocodile Tears? Crocodile Tears. That means fake tears. That's like when you're totally faking it, you cry crocodile tears because that. I don't know why I had my, oh, I remember why I had my bar spoon because we're supposed to crack ice cubes into it. You know what? We're not technically done yet. Let's crack some ice cubes. I got ice in the fridge. I got ice on the fridge and I'm gonna, I don't know, potentially make a mess. It's okay, I, I broke glass last week. Honestly, if I get a little ice on the floor, it wouldn't be too much. Wouldn't be too bad. So uh, I, I'm gonna break ice by literally taking this ice cube and hitting it with my bar spoon. Let's move these things a little bit closer and not spill anything. Yes. Nice camera angle. I like this. All right, let's see what happens when I, when I, when I, I was afraid. I gotta do it again. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, okay, we're getting ice every, okay, well there's, all right. Let's do it down here so I don't really make it. All right, I'm really making a mess. Um, here's a little ice thing, and there you go, too. I'm gonna... I, I changed my mind. We're not cracking the ice. I'm making... It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, bar spoon. Get, get, get. Get out of here. Get out of here, bar spoon. I, I present to you all... Crocodile Tears. The cocktail. Although, to be perfectly honest, this is a lot more green than blue. So is it even right to even call these tears anymore? They look like emeralds, like like green pearls of the waters that the crocodiles traverse in. It's just, it's just beautiful. Christina, would you like to come and claim your claim your quarry? As I move some bottles out of the way and hopefully try to get this uh, get this table back in its proper location. Let me let me do a little bit of a readjustment here. Take these and put them down. Get to move this table over here. Move this table over there. Move that table over there. Yeah. All right, table's out of the way. Come here. Come here. Here's your Mister. Mister, because I'm Mrs. Will always be. Will always be. Um. Cheers everyone this was crocodile tears with two measures of vodka two measure one measure of triple sec or blue curacao if you want this beautiful emerald color one measure of midori it's the melon stuff and two measures of lemon juice and it says cracked ice cubes uh we tried and we failed come pie come pie come pie Ooh. i like that I like that. It's very heavy on the lemon. It's like really heavy on the lemon. Mm -hmm. I gotta say too, there is something in that that I do not recognize. And I wanna say, I wanna say, maybe it's the vodka? Cause I feel like if I was getting the sweetness of the Midori, which I'm totally getting, I can totally get sweetness of Midori, but there's something else mixing in there differently that I'm just totally not used to. But it's, it's absolutely lovely. Maybe, maybe it's the combination of, you know what I'm getting? And this is really, really, this is going to sound really, really weird. I'm getting like almost a cocoa to it, which is why I'm thinking it might be the vodka or something, but 
I totally get that. I don't know why I'm getting Coco vibes. We that makes absolutely no sense. We chose really good glasses for this drink, by the way. I know, but guess what? We've got even more. Uh, fill yourself back up. Eee, still more. Oh my god. Need some more? Need some more? Mm. Mm. Oh, that might be... No. I was gonna say, that might be the rest of it. It's nearly now. You know, I think it is the Midori. It's cause, cause now the cocoa is kind of transforming into like cotton candy, and that's a very Midori thing. Oh, I love that. Wow, this is great. Wow, it's really good. It's like emerald green, and it, I think it, it's beautiful in this light too. I mean, my color capture, this, this camera sucks by the way. This camera, I'm not pointing at you guys. You guys are beautiful, but this camera it sucks. I bought it on Amazon, er, Ifru, Ifru, it says 1080p. That's wrong. It's not 1080p. It streams in 30 FPS. That's not 1080p. It's not. It's just wrong. But in any case, we're, we're budgeting for a better one, so we all we improve around here. I love it. Crocodile tears. Crocodile tears, everybody. It was lovely. We got seal of approval. It's turning your lips blue. <laughs> Are my lips blue? Hmm. Well, my lips are much pinker than yours, so it might be more potential. Potentially. Potentially. I can see it. The camera might be able, not be able to pick it up because the camera sucks. Or at least so I'm led to believe. In any case, that's that. We got it. We got it, dudes. We did it. We made a cocktail. We finally made it over the hump of the week. It's time to get jiggy with things. So, back to Graveyard Keeper. Uh, you might notice that this is what number week in a row that it's been but don't worry it's going to be even better this time because because we got so many more answers to our questions from last time i was struggling so so much with being able with trying to figure out where to get ash and salt and stuff from and as it turns out as it turns out you can get that from burning bodies i didn't realize you could burn bodies like that this is totally new I had no idea. I'm gonna burn all the bodies now. I'm gonna set the world on fire. It's gonna be awesome. And nobody's gonna see it coming. Nobody at all. So I'm gonna grab up some of these, some of these little carrots over here. Oh, I forgot to give Snake the Necronomicon. It's upward facing day. Damn it. I need burgers and beer for that day. Cause that's what the Inquisitor wants. Shucks. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Christina, I hope you enjoyed your beverage. You need more. There is a little bit more over here. The beginning yet. Chair here, continuing. Sure thing. Absolutely. Um, also, y'all may notice, I I mistakenly wore a black shirt today. It's a black plaid shirt, but you can't tell that it's plaid. Oh, that's strong. Oh, I just felt that all go down on my stomach. Oh, it's a strong one. Oh god. It's literally all alcohol aside from the lemon juice. So. Oh, what are the, what are the percentages on this thing? The vodka is uh, yeah, 80 proof. The blue curacao is probably like 40 proof, 45? 30 proof. Wow, I overestimated that. There and the go. Midori, Gosh. the Midori is, is 40 proof. So it's like, it's got alcohol. It's a thing that happens. We got elk. We got the alky walkies, don't we? Don't we got the Alki Walkies? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's never call them Alki Walkies again. Just kidding. Can't guarantee that. It'll happen. <laughs> I just swallowed the one tiny bit of ice cube that was in there. It's it's a good night so far. It's a it's a pleasant night. It was a good day at work, too. I really enjoyed myself. It was good. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit. I don't like that angle. I kind of look like a disembodied head today because I kind of am a disembodied head because of the black shirt. I, I didn't have time to change. Technically, or am I wearing the colorful one? No, I'm just wearing like a really, just wearing like a stupid plain white tee under this. I don't want to look like I beat my wife or anything with the wife beater. Just not into it. Oh, I was supposed to, there we go. I don't want to do that. So now that I know that I can burn bodies like that and collect salt and ash, which is a wonderful, wonderful thing, we can make some progress. I have salt in my inventory now, so I can combine, I think it was blood and salt? No, 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 it was, uh, oh god, what was it? Something and salt. Something and salt together create the health potion, the potion that What's-His-Face needs, uh, the merchant. And that's coming up on Claw Day, which is still like a week away, but we're, we're already into it, so... Was it salt and 
blood? No, no, no. It was salt and something extract. Was it health solution? Health solution. I'm pretty sure with health, health solution. I'm crossing my fingers. I don't got a lot of salt. Salt and health solution. Health solution? Health solution. Let's do it. Crafty, crafty. Here we go. I got spices. I got spices. I got spices. Oh, oh, that was it. I got spices. Oh, CJ, one, one of the friends I showed, oh, they said it looked radioactive. It is radioactive. I'm going to die drinking this. But that's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Consume the crocodile tears. So what I kind of what I kind of want to do today is, as per usual, I want to continue making quest progress. I would really like to play this game to completion, and I don't know if I'm close or not yet. But we're trying, we're trying our bestest over here, trying as best as we possibly can in this thing we call life. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see sometime. But I want to also focus on the alchemy because one of the tidbits that we got last time was if you get some sort of gunk at the other end of the alchemy chain, for example, I'm just gonna throw these two things together. Uh, I don't know, in life solution. I'm gonna try to craft that and something's gonna pop up the other end. I got slowing goo. So that means one of my ingredients, whether it was the blue stuff or the other stuff, is supposed to go with slowing as, as a thing. So I'm gonna try acceleration and, do I have slowing solution? I don't have slowing solution. So instead, I'm gonna try slowing powder with the other solution. I'll try that instead and see if it gets something good. Uh, what was it? Uh, life solution? It might have been life. We'll see. Maybe not. All right, it was ash goo. So one of those things is supposed to be mixed with ash. It's a, it's a little... Takes some getting used to, I think. I also don't have a lot of inventory space for all this goo and stuff. I need to build more space for stuff. I don't have a lot of space for stuff. I need space for stuff. Let's build another spice rack. Why am I calling it a spice rack? It's an alchemy rack. Alchemy. Alchemy. Oh, I have freshener. Did I need freshener for something? I vaguely remember needing freshener for something. I don't know. I need more alchemy space. Let's make another alchemy rack. Flitches, nails, and square things. I like that. Let's go with flitches, nails, and square things. It's a it's a lovely it's a lovely day for an inquisition. It's a lovely day for square things. Square things, nails, and flitches. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in Graveyard Town. Or at least so I've been told. It's very possible that it's not such a beautiful day. There is a body in here. Wait, where's the body? Wait, oh, two bodies. Oh, there's the... Oh, the zombie counts as a body. I didn't know that at all. How good is your soul? Your soul is pretty good. That's a pretty good soul you got there. If I remove your bodily everything, do you become a better person? How about your brain? Wow, you are literally nothing without your brain. I should put your brain back. Oh, did I make a mistake? I made a mistake? Well, I don't need that. I'm gonna throw the body down south and I'm gonna burn it. That's fine. I just like, I'll, I'll take salt from it then. Oh my god, I have another body down here? Oh, oh, maybe that's the body they were referring to. Please pay no attention to the bodies. Hello, Astro. Don't pay attention to the bodies, please. You don't need to. They don't mean you any harm. They're dead now. Liking the lighting? Thank you. I feel a bit like I'm in a disembodied head right now, but we're working on things. It sure as hell makes this cocktail look beautiful. That is such a cool color. It's beautiful. Also, did I do something different with my hair? Not really. I have been wearing something to work though. So I bike to work. And one of the, th it's getting cold outside. So what I've done is I've begun wearing something called a, a balaclava. B-A-L-A-C-L-A-V-A. -A -A. Balaclava. Maybe it's balaclava. Balaclava? That sounds like a dessert. But in any case, it goes over my head and over my face so like the wind chill doesn't like affect me as I'm biking through the world. And it's it's a it's a it's a thing. Post it in Discord? Yeah, I'll post a picture of my balaclava on there. I also ordered one from Amazon too, because this one, the one that I currently have, doesn't 
doesn't really fit my face very well. Uh, it's over there. I could grab it. But I'll, I'll wait on that for a little bit. I am kind of, I'm a little hot under the collar already. So I don't need, I don't need more of that. I don't need more of that right now. But, but as an illustration, I'll be more than happy to share. Go grab it. Gosh, you guys are so needy. But I'm more than happy to oblige. Where's my balaclava? It's in my jacket somewhere. There we go, I can hear my keys jingling. It's in my thingy. All right, it's balaclava time. It's balaclava time. This is, this is my balaclava. It is also black, so the lighting just does not, the, the lighting does not do it justice. I don't have to put it on? Dude, you can't just, you can't just say, yo, go get it and not expect me to put it on my face. It's just kind of like, I kind of feel like a ninja. I feel like a ninja. Maybe I'll stream like this for a little while. I feel like I'm, li oh my God, I feel like I'm invisible. This is so crazy. The lighting is not set up for this. This, this is, you know what? Let's just go with it for now. And, um, hi there. <laughs> this is, this is winter time, Cameron with an X. I'm cold. And I also... I'm a forehead. I'm a forehead with eyes. Wearing headphones. It's spooky. It's spooky. I don't mean for this to happen. I don't mean for this to happen. I should have worn a better shirt. Also, I think my voice is muffled now. Eh, who cares about it? I'm having a good time. And a scratchy voice started speaking like, Batman. I'm Batman. I wear balaclavas because my face is cold when I go to work. Yeah, that's right. I bike to work. I care for the environment. Duh. <laughs> in any case, usually, usually I'm like this because not always is the wind in my face. Um, but yeah, so when I put this thing on and then I take it off, it kind of it kind of statics up my hair. Like it gets like this as I'm biking around. So when I take it off, my hair's like, "Whoa, dude! What'd you do? What'd you do to your hair, dude?" That's what my hair says. My hair says, "Dude, what'd you do to me?" And to which I do not respond because I don't talk to inanimate objects. Just kidding. I love you. I do talk to inanimate objects. Technically, I talk to myself in the mirror. So I'm actually talking- am I talking to myself? Or am I talking to the mirror? And is- and if I'm talking to the mirror, I'm indeed look talking to an inanimate object. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Talk to whatever you want to, dude. Just- just do you. I need some flitches. Let's make some flitches. How to make flitches. I can make flitches from the logs. I didn't notice that this carpentry table over here actually is more efficient at making the flitches. Excellent. Actually, do I already have flitches? No, but I do have this stuff. I can put the billets away. I can take my beams. Let's... I didn't mean to take ten of them. Can I just take four? That would be wonderful. I'm gonna put ceramic jugs in here. And sticks? There is so much space for activities. And things to act with words. Oh dear. Let's make some nails. Then we're gonna make an alchemy. Nice. We're gonna, we're gonna make an alchemy. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make an. I'm gonna do an alchemy today. Do, 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 do. Oh no, I picked up the habit. I have a, I have a coworker who will oftentimes describe things, and she will often preface it with, "I'm gonna do this thing." Do, 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 do. And I've become doing it. I've begun to do that because I totally, I'm like, oh my god, I didn't realize I was totally allowed to just sing songs to explain things. Like, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the bumpa dumpa. What's the bumpa dumpa? It's alchemy. Duh. But first, I'm gonna do the 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 do 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 do, and the do 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 is an alchemy. What's it called? Alchemy rack. I'm gonna build an alchemy rack, and that's a da 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 da. That's building things. There it is now. Can I put that on the ground? I cannot. Where is there space to put the alchemy thing? Any Anywhere in particular? Have I completely taken up all my space? I don't like that. Can I, can I just put it here? I can, so I will. Is it in the most awkward place? Yes. Yes, it is. But I'm lazy. But I'm weak. And what's wrong with that? Boy, oh boy, I love it when I fall for that. But I'm weak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to change that at some point. Because that is... This is such an inconvenient way to store things. Not a fan. 
Not a fan. Okay. I'm gonna keep my goo. I'm gonna keep my goo in this rack over here. The goo, the goo, is gonna go in this rack. Goo in the rack. All the spices and stuff, all the, all the this stuff, salt and whatnot, it's gonna stay in this rack. The goo, we got a special place for the goo. Yes, we do, space for the goo. Goo, 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 goo. Alchemy, a goo, goo. A gaga, alchemy, a goo, goo, gaga. <laughs> oh, update, yo, update time, update time, yes. Re, the girl you've been talking with, has been talking with you a lot more and has been coming over a lot more. While you was on TikTok, you were reminded your pupil dilates when you look at something you like, and hers did that to you when you were on the, your bed the other day watching Sweeney Todd. Yo, Sweeney Todd, excellent movie, excellent show. I played the Beatle when I did my theatrical representation of it. Watching Sweeney Todd and thinks she might ask you to put the label on your relationship. A toast to Astro. That's wonderful, wonderful things. Toasty, toasty. That's lovely. Dude, I'm so happy for that. I was actually, I've been actually reading uh, a book, or rather I've been listening to a book recently where they talked about like the experiment that put into record the fact that like your eyes dilate when you see something that you like. And I think your eyes also dilate when your mind is engaged in like really critical thinking. Like when the slow part of your brain is thinking versus the fast part. But but in any case, eyes are windows to your soul. Supposedly when you lie, your eyes do things too. I, I don't really know. In any case, to summarize, addendum, axiom, clap clap. That's wonderful. I, you know what? That's that's totally cause for. Where's my, where my, where my where my's? I found my where my. This one's for all the ladies. This one's for all the boys. This one's for all those who don't fit into those two categories. We love you as well, and we always will. And here's another one for good relationships. And one more for good luck. Okay, cool, cool. I'm into it. So the goo is in its proper place now. Not to like take away from things, but there is goo to be talked about. We must talk about the goo. We must make sure that we acknowledge the goo whenever we can. There's gooey relationship stuff. Do we want to get there? Do we want to go there? Nah, we're only we're only 40 minutes in. We're not at that point yet. We're not going to talk about relationship goo. Unless. I think saliva is a, a relationship goo. There is often... Is it... Saliva is gooey. If you two make jello together and cook together, there's goo that comes up from that. That's cool. They're excited to see where things go. She's has a big obsession for night for the nightmare before Christmas. Yo, I know somebody like that too. And she doesn't have a zero a, a zero stuffy yet, so you impulse bought her one and plan to give it to her as a surprise. That is a good call. I actually have I I like I like the nightmare before Christmas as well. And so I want to say in one of my books I did a little I did a little uh Let's see, I did a little zero pastel. I don't usually work with pastels very often, but this is my this is my rendition of zero from a nightmare before Christmas. And it's It's such a it's such a good movie. I actually watched I watched another Tim Burton film recently. I watched I finally watched The Corpse Bride. I've never I've never watched The Corpse Bride before, and it was a really, really good movie. Like, really, really good. It was very cute too. All those all those Tim Burton movies often often are. <laughs> too, too late. Relationship goo is already posted. Oh! Oh? Hmm. Damn, looks awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's just the colors thing. It's all it's all in the colors. Just use more colors in whatever you do. I feel I I guarantee anything can be better with more colors. But that is so so good. I like to hear positive things. It's nice to hear about the good things that happen in the world, like love, the spawning of love, the the spawn that occurs because of love. Children being born is a good thing. It's a lovely thing. I like that. It makes me feel all warm inside. Like, I used to be the kind of person who's like, I can't feel like all lovey-dovey. I can't feel good about watching like sappy romance movies. Well, I'll have you know, I like watching sappy romance movies. So does my fiance. I will never be the one 
to say we're watching this sappy romance movie, but she will, and I enjoy it every single time. Because I'm a sucker for sappy romance. There's just something about it. Just something about that. I love it. Astro doesn't need children yet. Yo, holla, bro. I don't need children yet either. I am doing everything that I can to avoid. Yo, an anonymous gifter. Ten? Yo! Who's doing this stuff? Thank you. I don't know who you are or where you're from or what time it is over there, but it's 8.42 p.m. over on the Eastern Seaboard, and I love you. I love you very much. And this is what we do for things like that. It's a party. It's a party. Should we do good things? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. These are subs. Which means... <laughs> Yo, you know what happens when subs happen. I gotta go after all my good, good party hats. Okay, we're gonna start with the... There's a lot of real estate to be done here. And I need to pause the game because it's Lord's Day. It's Sunday and I can't miss my church service. I have how many hats here? I have four hats here. We're gonna start with four hats. In recognition of all of our wonderful, wonderful peeps now, this one, this one goes to our newest sub, Mr. Paul Tracy. I hope you are doing well. Vermont is probably absolutely freezing right now. This next one goes to Meatball Girl as well, who's sitting right over there. Congrats, me. Hi, hello, bye-bye. No, just kidding, she's not going anywhere. <laughs> We've also got one for the Disney Queen. Anna is gonna be like, why can I use these emotes again? That's not a thing. Why is this happening? That'll be a wonderful surprise for her. That's my fiance, by the way. Another party hat for Mothy Gothy. I hope Mothy is doing well right now. She pops on every once in a while. I think I recall that she plays Minecraft every once in a while. Ah, uh, a wonderful, wonderful game, indeed. This next one is for Astro. Yo, congrats, my guy. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome, you've always been here. <laughs> never, never leave. Never leave, we appreciate you. Oh God, I ran out of small party hats, so I gotta go for the big ones now. The next one, oh my goodness, this is so fun. Ah, I'm psyched and happy. The next one goes to Yolando. Yolando also streams. Check that out. I think I first saw them playing uh, Portal 2. That's a good game to play. I really should play that with somebody that I hold near and dear to my heart, but not Anna. I don't hey, think she's into that tech stuff. I'm here. Yo, this. Meatball, we should totally play Me Portal 2. Sure. Another stuff. Dog, dog, dog. We can all play Portal 2 together. What else we got? Harry Dev 1. You can play too? Yes, you can. Harry? Harry! I just heard, I just heard from Harry the other day. He's, uh, he's one of my buddies across the pond. I believe, I believe it's too late for them right now. They're all asleep right now, and I'm glad that they are. Because honestly, if you're living- let's see, it's like- It's- It's like- it's late over there. It's very late overseas right now. Like, midnight, maybe? Maybe even what? Maybe even more? I don't really know. Oh my goodness. We haven't had a situation like this in a while. Oh my god, this party hat is not happening. It's not too late. It's not too late. I don't know what it was. There's definitely a song that goes like, It's not too late, but I don't know the words to the song, and, well, whatever. That's, that's how it be. We got three more. Three more coming your way. We got another beautiful, beautiful VIP party goer, Lorelai. Lorelai is related to the to the very, very, very talented Lycos Lore. Three Days Grace, it's never too late. I knew it was a song. It had to be. It had to be a song. Let's see. We got a lot of party hats. None of the party hats have fallen yet. They're they're kind of they're kind of all over the place, but they're not off yet. We've got another one for Neko Sniper Force, another very prominent member of the streaming community and a noble of the kingdom of Winter Garden right now because it is winter. Or rather, in Philadelphia, we like to say that it's false winter because it pulls you into a false sense of cute security. You think it's winter, which means you think it's going to end soon, but it doesn't, and it's just cold. It, it's cold already, and the wind drafts just make it It's cold. so cold! And the big buildings around here, the big buildings, it's just like wind tunnels literally everywhere. And then we've got a final one, the final one, for my mother, R.S. Kelb. She's never been subbed before, that's so cool! Whoever you are out there, who has done such a great service, I thank thee, I love you, in the most platonic way possible. I don't want to make you uncomfortable or anything, but you gifted it to my mother. That's like, that's great. <laughs> Texas yesterday was 80 degrees. Well, apparently, winter just means something different to you. Also, 
it may not seem like there are ten party hats on my head. Cool. But they're all they're all on the back. <laughs> they're all just kind of hanging there. <laughs> Usually at this point we wind up donning the party hats like in different ways like upon my shoulders and armor and whatnot Oh, and it's lovely It's lovely. It's lovely. I hope I hope I said thank you enough in these situations I literally never know when to stop saying thank you like this is so cool I get to buy I get to I get to eat pizza. I can very much not shamefully purchase a pizza now This can't be comfortable. Honestly, it's not too bad they're all just kind of hanging around the back. And you know what's really uncomfortable? When the party hats, like, the little... The reason why I put them around my head is, is like... Like, if you put it around my neck, it rubs against my skin. I have very sensitive skin, so... And I need at least three more thank yous. I'm gonna... Instead of saying thank you, I'm gonna do thank yous in a different way. I'm gonna do it with party horns. This party horn is for thank you number one. This party horn is for thank you number two. And this party horn is for thank you number three. And with that said, shall we? A one, a two, a one, two, three, and... <laughs> I love that. You know, I told I told Anna, like, before I even got these things, I was like, you know what would be really cool for the whole party aesthetic? Party horns. And she just straight up... I, I think either I bought or she bought me, like, 50 party horns. Like, I will never need that many party horns. Unless there may be a time, there may be a time where that many party horns is exactly what we need. Exactly. Although, I don't know what that condition might be, but I'm into it. I'm into it. Whatever the case may be. Do I have my prayer on me? Oh, I do have my prayer on me. It's Lord's Day. It's Lord's Day and we must pray. Bow down and praise whatever god you deem so worthy of your praise today. I, what am I gonna pray to today? I'm gonna pray to Dionysus because that is the god of revelry, the god of orgies, and the god of alcohol. Dionysus. And to the cult of Dionysus. That's a wonderful, I think the cult of Dionysus is a song by the Orion Project. It's a great song. It goes like, like, yesterday I heard you say your lust for life has gone away. You had me thinking, I think I feel a similar way. And that's sad. That's sad. That's sad. So let's make the decision, start a new religion. Yeah, we're gonna build a temple to our love. Orgiastic dances, nymphs and chantries will be the envy of the gods above. You looking devious. I'm feeling glamorous. Let's get mischievous and polyamorous. Wine and women and wonderful vices. Welcome to the cult of Dionysus. What? It's a wonderful song. Christina, you should definitely listen to it. Everybody, you should definitely listen to it. It's a it's a crowd favorite of mine. What do I mean by crowd? Who, what crowd? <laughs> it's my crowd favorite. Populate. Welcome to the crowd. Population me. It's just me, and I like that song. I know that also uh, my good pal Pepper also likes it as well. It's a it's a crowd it's a crowd pleaser for her as well. Actually, I think that might have been one of those songs that like she discovered completely for us. <gasps> sing for us! Oh my God! Yes, I will sing for you, and I'll never stop, never stop singing for you. I need a timer. Hey Google, please set a timer for 10 minutes. I really don't remember if 10 minutes is long enough, but we're gonna go with it anyway. It's Lord's Day, everybody. Make sure to praise your God. What God will you be praying to today? I'm unsure. I don't understand. I don't. Also, I really hope y'all like high voices, cause that's what I'm in the mood for today, unless I go down here into my low range, but honestly that doesn't happen very much, cause it's not as trained as much as the high range. I'm usually very much of a tenor. But I think I've turned into a bit of a baritone in recent years. It happens. <laughs> Purity and whatnot. <laughs> when all of a sudden your voice is one day like this! And then you just go to school one day, and everyone's just like, yo, what happened? I have no idea what you're talking about. My voice is the same as it's always been. <laughs> Please stop embarrassing me! You just sound like a tyrant. 
That was the voice crack. <laughs> Tyrone? Tyrone, what are you referring to? Tyrone. Apparently, my low voice is named Tyrone. I did not say that. It's okay. I named a squash the other week Tobias, and then I sacrificed him to the gods above. No, I made a squash pie. There's actually pieces of him still in the refrigerator. That was like. That but was like I mixed. Two months ago, you idiot. It was not two months ago. Instead, it was like a month ago when I made squash pie, and I ate it all, and I think I left it at my. Fiance's house. I think it's all gone. Probably. Oh yeah, I was in the car when his remains are in the back. I do recall that moment. Absolutely I do. Look at all these rotting bodies. Woohoo. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take this log up to the top, chop it into billets, and then I'm gonna put it down down there and burn a bunch of bodies. I can do rap stuff and talk in really fast. If I talk in rhythm, does that mean that I am still singing syncopation? Yeah. I thought you two shared an apartment together. Yes, yes we do. Anna and I share an apartment together. But she's at home for her clinical right now. She's doing stuff to become a physical therapist and she is doing super duper well in actuality. She talked to me about that today. What she did, she told me she had two evals. Evals at the same time. And what that means is, to my knowledge, is that she got two people who came in and they were like, yo, doctor, I got things wrong. And she was like, yo, tell me what's wrong, but I'm not a doctor, I'm still a student. And both of them were like, I have this problem, I have this problem. And then she was like, I think you need treatment and this is what I would do to treat you if it were my decision. But I'm just a student, but I'm not going to tell you that because I'm on clinical and I will be for the next month. I had to do a similar thing when I went to school. I did co-op. And on co-op, on co-op, I worked a job for six months because that's what my university told me to do and forced me to do so. But I got paid for it, and I do like getting paid for the work I do. Because if I'm not getting paid for the work I do, I would consider that exploitation. But hey, at least we're paying you in experience, so shouldn't you be thankful for that? No, I'm not. I have bills to pay. What do you think, like school is free or something? For goodness sakes. If I'm going to be under your employment for six months, you might as well pay me. You think I'm going to fly all the way out to California for free? That actually reminds me of something. I have a profile on the LinkedIn and I saw somebody make a post. And when they made that post, they said, yo, respond with the smiley face for paid internships and respond with, I don't know, God, it was probably something else if you think unpaid. And there was a shocking amount of people who were like, yo, unpaid internships, like 32%. And it seemed very debated in the comments section. Everyone was like, but, but, but experience. And everybody else was just like, but, but, but like bills and stuff and whatnot. Honestly, I would think in this case, if you are going to sit me down and tell me you're not going to pay me, then you better write up an equally long resume for me so that I can interview you as the company to prove that you are worth it for me to spend my time and effort and everything to dedicate my life for six months to you. Is this just turning into Hamilton monologue? I have been singing for five minutes now and I find it difficult to keep a rhythm, so I'm gonna to continue to narrate in this theatrical way. We have spoken word sometimes in theater. Yes, we do. This will be spoken word. That's okay. This is the part where we get really close to the camera and the music dies down. It's the inner monologue during the middle of the song. We're like four, four minutes left, five-ish minutes left. But we get real close and talk about something really, really important to us, like the fact that my favorite fruit is the avocado. And then we go back to the chorus line! <laughs> avocados are a fruit! Suck it! Even if you don't like it, avocados will always remain a fruit. And if you think that I'm lying, Google it. Conduct your own research. But really, when we say conduct your own research, does that really mean you're going to do anything about it? I don't think it will. I do not think it will. When you say I'm going to conduct my own research, I think that you are going to ignore all of the evidence. You are not going to do any research. 
Wow. This dude's a total shitbag. I'm gonna burn his body in the pile of fire. Yo! We've got three entire bodies to burn on the billets. Places to burn bodies. You know, I'm wondering to myself if the quality of the body increases the amount of resources you'll get. I'm not exactly sure. In any case, let's make some billets. I like billets. This number of billets is not even close to the amount of billets we need for sacrificing all of these bodies. And that makes me sad. That's sad. So let's make the decision. Burn some bodies. We're gonna conflagrate those who are dead. And we're gonna harvest resources from them. Not just meat, but also salt, ash, and sulfur. Maybe I might be wrong. I don't think there was any sulfur. But honestly, who knows now? Astro's got 16 points now. LOL. Was it worth it? Maybe, but that remains to be seen. Where the hell did all of my wood go? I chopped down a bunch of trees. And for some reason, I can't find the logs. Where are the logs? Worth every single penny. The three penny opera. That's a, that's a, that's a show too, right? I don't know any music from that. Let's pick a random theater piece. What do we... Uh, oh, topical. Attend the tale of Sweeney Todd. His, his eyes was weird and his mind was odd. He shaved the faces of gentlemen who never thereafter were heard of again. Something about Sweeney Todd. Forgot the words. But he was the demon bubber of Fleet Street. I know that for a fact. He definitely did slice people's bodies. Actually, what was the song that I sung in that being I played? The Beatle. I play, I what was it? Uh. Oh, oh, I, I remember how it goes. Ladies and the sensitivities, my lord. Have a subtle somptabilities. When a girl's emergent, probably it's urgent. Ladies and the sensitivities. It's been a long time since I've been in that show, so. Astro's waiting for Rita to come back so you can watch Eddie Caesar hands. I got scissors. Take a look at these scissors. These six scissor hands. Remember, children out there, please don't run with scissors because if you do, you'll die and your parents will miss you. Unless your parents never loved you, in which case they were shitty people. My parents loved me. But I'm the lucky one. Man, that got pretty freaking depressing for a bit. Poor Batman. I'm Batman, and I can sing. I can do whatever I want. Batman likes to speak really fast. Where's Rachel? Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, everybody. I appreciated it. Oh, I have to build my piles of bodies. I did that. I'm gonna build it. Places for burning bodies. Oh, here comes the rising action. We're building these piles to burn bodies. We're gonna put them on the piles and set them on fire. Put it on the pile, put it on the pile, put it on the pile, in will light you a flame. Hail to the fire. There's two seconds left. I did it. So as it turns out, I'm pretty sure I'm only supposed to sing for five minutes, but I accidentally set the timer for ten, so. You can get that. That's that's all yours. You, you, you can have that. You can have that those five extra minutes for free. Can ba Batman can sing. Do you remember in Justice League Unlimited show? I, I'll admit, I didn't watch a lot of superhero shows. Or I guess super not so heroes. Batman's a hero, right? He's not like an anti-hero. Deadpool's an anti-hero. But I never watched those shows. And not because, like, I had any... I, actually, I had, like... Okay. I was gonna say be, not like I have any aversion to it. But I did. When I was younger, I, for some reason, felt so insecure about the idea of having role models. So I never watched superhero shows. 
Do I have HBO? I do have HBO. Actually, my fiance's younger brother, uh, uh, Thank I guess, has talked about the the um, the Justice League stuff. Both her older brother, her younger brother, and I believe she's watched a couple episodes though. I'll have to add it to my list of things to watch on HBO. I'll add it to my list. I've got post-it notes for this very reason. Yo, where'd my tiny post-it notes go? Oh, well, I guess I'm just gonna take this post-it note though. Justice League. Justice League Unlimitedo. Un L N T D. Yeah. Young Justice is great too. And Young Justice. Actually, I kind of just wa I kind of just put Young Just on there, but it kind of looks like Young Jizz, but I'll know what I'm talking about. Also, 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 my pen is at the ready. What other recommendations do you have for a poor streamer? Toss a recommendation to your streamer. Spare a, spare a recommendation for your streamer? I wait in anticipation. There's another one called Just Justice League. Just. Just Justice. Just League. All right, this is what I wrote on my paper. Um, I will most definitely be able to decode that later. Ooh, it's Claw Day, which means I can go talk to the merchant about his love problems. I'm gonna sleep so that the rest of the day comes by. Just something was slightly different to it. So there's there was Justice League Unlimited, Justice League, and then Young Justice. Yeah, I actually, I have a really, really good friend of mine too, who is also really into like comic stuff and whatnot. And I know that he's told me to watch Justice League before. But now I've got like two or three people telling me to watch Justice League. So if I don't do it now, it's, it's just mean. If I don't do it now, it's just mean. I had like, it took two or three people at work to convince me to watch this show called Ted Lasso. By the way, wonderful show. It really covers mental health very well. And it's really all about just like, it, the, one of the key points of that show is just like, talk about it with people. It's okay to talk to your coworkers about what's going on. It's okay to like, be open about what's going on in your life because oftentimes they'll help you and we're social creatures and that's okay. But it's a great show. It's a great show. Camp Laszlo? I remember watching Camp Laszlo. <laughs> Actually, when you bring up Camp Laszlo, the one thing that I can think of is the one... Camp Laszlo. But the one thing that I remember from Camp Laszlo was, I don't know what character it was, but all of a sudden, the thing was like, there's a party in my pants and you're invited. And then the pants like got like really, really big and everyone partied inside the pants. But I want to say there was like, there was one member, there was like, there was one camp member who didn't, who wasn't invited to the pants party. I think I remember that being a thing. And I think that was the entire point of that particular episode. It was like, invite your friends to things. Like, be nice to people about it. Make sure everybody's included. It was a wonderful show, but I remember that one specifically. And of course, being the almost 24-year-old that I am, I have more than, more than once taken that uncomfortably out of context in situations and contexts where it just wasn't appreciated. But I am a better person now. I am more mature than I was before. I am much better now. I usually don't make the party in my pants and you're invited joke unless it's called for via context clues i will never be asked for the pants party thing but sometimes it just it needs to happen it just needs to happen let's make some wine make us some wine pale of grape juice pale of grape juice Ooh, i can make more wine excellent Excellent, excellent, excellent. This is a 30% chance. This is an 80% chance of getting good. So let's get good. Pants are an option around me. Well, it's a good thing I haven't stood up anytime this stream. Or else you would see the glory of my gray pants. I'm wearing gray pants right now, but I'm also wearing stitch socks. Aren't these, these cute? They've also got rainbows on them. These are my socks today. See, by the way, by the way, for all those wondering, I did not show my bare feet on camera. This is totally not against Twitch's TOS. And also, too, you can show your feet on camera so long as they're a part of the activity that you're engaged in. If you're walking around on a surface barefoot and your feet are shown on camera, that's a part of the context. That's okay. But if somebody literally drops bits for you to take off your shoes and your socks to show them, then that's no good. That's TOS. Grippy socks? Oh, yeah, they're grippy socks. They help me move my table around so I don't slip all over the floor. Oh, I gotta get to town, quick. 
I'm running out of daylight. Sir, I have your spices. And I have... I don't have wine for you, but I have your spices. I have that cure that you were asking for. Here, I brought you this cure that you... For you, uh, Clotho told me it might help. Mm, let me try it. I just sprinkle it on these fried grits hoppers. Mmm, mm, delicious, delicious, delicious. Even tastier than before. Thank you so much. So, where did you get the precious ingredient? Um, I just made it myself, dude. All it took was some alchemy and a bit of common sense. Like, you know, salt plus health solution obviously makes spice. Uh, interesting, interesting. Uh, I see many possibilities here. Are you like an alchemist, like full time or whatever? Because like I could totally use you to like make like I have I have a problem. This flavor could open many gates, even perhaps the palace gates. Oh, we can get the king totally addicted to this shit. I need to arrange a dinner for some of the royal council members, and that's why I need your help. I need you to cook a great dinner for five people. Just make some snacks, a main course, and a dessert, but they should all be the highest quality. Why me? Well, why me? I'm no good at cooking this stuff. I've literally never cooked before. I cook carrot cutlets all the time, and they're like, Ugh. I can trust no other soul in the town. The steaks are too high. Um, why don't you cook it yourself? Nonsense! I'm a foodie, not a cook. Hello, might not say much since you're only on mobile, but how have things been? Hi, Lorelai, I'm wonderful. But don't worry, you can do this. And that spice you made, it'll make this dinner unforgettable. I'm doing wonderful. It was a wonderful day at work today, but it was great. And now I'm here too, and I am happy with my emerald colored drink. It's beautiful. Okay, I have those dinners. I need to create dinner. How do I make dinner? How does one make dinner? I wonder what's for dinner. I really do. I really wonder what's for dinner in this town. I just I just don't know. I just do not know. I'm gonna sell these burial certificates because they give me money and those bodies are dead. They are gone. Oh yes. Oh six silver pieces. Gotta love that. Alright, bad luck today, Capitan. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss Charm, can I buy your recipes? Do you sell a recipe for dinner? You better talk to my husband. He's in charge here. No, thanks. I'm gonna buy all your stuff. I'm gonna buy all your recipes. Yay! Now I know how to make croissants! I also know how to make pancakes and muffins. I also now know how to make baked salmon and royal fish. I also... Nope, no, no, don't talk. To, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. You have nothing to trade. You have no wares for me. I also have learned how to create a bowl of pumpkin soup, baked pumpkin, and a bowl of lentils. Lentils. By the power of legumes, I summon thee. I also know how to make berry pie and grape pie now. And that's... That's... Are you nuts? More than I could ever ask for. Are you legumes? Are you nuts? Are you legumes? Are you peanuts? Nut nut? Hex nut? Oh my god. <laughs> that reminds me. So, so... I've mentioned already that I've been playing this new Pokemon Go type game called Pikmin Bloom. And I'm gonna save it for another time, but I have named every single one of my Pikmin. And I wouldn't say I'm very good at making names. However, when pushed to the point where I have to make names, I will come up with some pretty interesting things. And I'll just give a preview. I have like, 80 Pikmin right now, and they're all named, but I'll just pick whatever the ones are currently on the top and share them with y'all Because I, I get a kick out of some of these. All right The first the first ten Pikmin that I have in my inventory my my squad is Randall, Peeper, Reloom, Harkonnen, Blanc, Bort uh, Haladala Dongding, Crawl, Shrilling, and Blamo. Blamo. That's the name of one of the purple Pikmin. They're the big ones. Celebration for Astro for things in his life coming together. There's something wrong with that one. I remember being at a point like a couple of months ago where I felt like my life was not together. <laughs> I was streaming a lot. I was between jobs. College had ended and I couldn't pay my rent. But you know... Things are okay now. Things much better. I like having a job. I'm actually being, I'm actually, I'm really, really enjoying the stuff that I'm doing. I was officially called, and I, uh, to preface this, 
I have always wanted to be like a hacker per se. The idea of breaking things or figuring out how shit worked always amused me. And the whole like typing like on the terminals and being able to write on the command line was like, oh my God, I am officially a hacker if I know how to do that. I can do that now. And I also reverse engineer stuff. I officially like, I take stuff and I figure out how it works to be able to make it do what I want to do or be able to make things work with it. And it is the coolest thing. It is one of the coolest feelings. And just the other day, my boss was like, my boss was like, yo, we've, we've got our resident white hat hacker on our team over here. And I was like, I made it. I made it. It's great. Nice on both fronts. You just unlocked the rock Pikmin. And yeah, names get hard. Oh, for sure. I think I'm a little bit away. Actually, I don't exactly know what comes first, the winged Pikmin or the rock Pikmin? Because I unlocked the white Pikmin a little bit ago. That's great. What exactly do I do? So my official title is a firmware developer, and that means I program the chips that are in like your, like program the chips inside of your phone. Um, it's not just computer programming. Like it actually gets flashed onto the computer chip, which is really, really cool. Um, but what I do specifically is we have this little, we have, it's a, it's a hub. It's a device that takes um, health information from blood pressure cuffs, from pulse oximeters, from thermometers, and it collects all this data without ever looking at the data because personal health information, and it sends it off to the patient. So essentially how this thing works is I take my blood pressure in the morning, I take my temperature in the morning, and then I get a notification on my phone of what my information is. And if you were a nurse or a doctor, then you can actually get all that information for your patients on this dashboard that you can look at. And you can see if you tell your patient who's at home, hey, I need you to take your blood pressure. You can see when they take their blood pressure and what those vitals are, which is it's really, really cool. It's kind of like in COVID time, it's really awesome because like the people, the, the patients who are at home can't come into the hospital for one reason or another. So you can actually do all this, this, this monitoring work from afar. And it's like, it's like the nurse, like, you know, granted, you have to kind of teach them how to use the blood pressure cuff because some people are, you know, they're unable to do so or they don't necessarily know how to. But we try to make it easier for them. So this little box that we got. And so I programmed the little box. And I also break the devices and figure out how they work so that my hub can talk to the device and figure out what it's saying to us. That's what I do. Among other things as well. There's a lot of other supply chain. We're a very small company. And so everybody wears a different hat every once in a while. I'm wearing the party hat today because... Well, there's a calendar, there's a calendar item on my work calendar that says, hold for me, hold for Cameron. I'm Cameron. Nobody bothers me during this time. Although I'd be happy if people bothered me. It sounds interesting. I would say very interesting. I would, if I wasn't completely like, like there was something, like, I can't talk about a lot of stuff because NDA and stuff like that. But if I could ever take this knowledge of mine and like put it somewhere else, I would love to do a stream about it that stuff sometime just like just really really dive deep into like the technological side of things because i feel like i can talk pretty technical but it, it it's a little it's a little boggy it's a little bogs a little down there's a lot of stuff there this white hat is of the party variety see see that's a hacker joke i like that i appreciates that i appreciates that but it's it's so it is really really cool talk to your employer and see if i could i mean I mean, what I can officially say, because it's public information, is we have a patent out there now. That was really, really cool. For uh, It's a patent for basically being able to... Oh, wait, wait, dialogue. I'll get into that in a second. Here's your book, Snake. I'm hardly surprised. You're a man of extraordinary talents. Plus, you're immortal. Life isn't fair. Give me the book! Wow, ritual is more complicated than I expected. Fear into the hearts, a fountain of blood, a convergence of sin. I'll never finish this ritual. I'll never get to see him. Don't give up. I also have a difficult task too. I know what you're going through. You just need to believe in yourself. I completely missed that dialogue. You're a dangerous and unscrupulous rogue. Who else could perform this ritual if not for you? You're right. I hate it when someone's right. But in this case, Seems I could use a little help. A favor for a favor. You know? Uh, about the ritual. Oh, I need your endless blue notebook. I noticed you have an endless notebook. I need it for something very important. I need it for a ritual of my own. To get back to my love. 
I understand you quite well. Perhaps even more than you can imagine. This book is the only thing I have from my childhood. We weren't allowed to have our own possessions at the orphanage. When they pulled me from that burning house, I was gripping it in my hands. This book means a lot to me. This book's pages never end. I wrapped down everything in this notebook, and a lot of pages were already filled up when I started. I always wonder what all those notes are about. How happy were the people who wrote them? You know what? If I succeed with my ritual, the notebook will be yours. I won't need it anymore. Mm, so I get the endless notebook at friendly level 100. Ooh, does he have a death note? No, or maybe he does write the names of those who he want dead in it. About the ritual, how can I help? I'd like to help you. I've got a feeling I'll need you to return the favor. Sounds reasonable to me. First of all, we need to prepare for the ritual. We need this place looking as scary as my old orphanage. <laughs> this place should have my followers trembling in terror. But look who I'm talking to. <laughs> Up in your church, you've done some great decorating. Now this one should be darker. Without all the crosses. Crosses bring back bad memories for me. Oh, 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 oh. and one other thing. For the ritual, we need to have a fountain of blood. Better make two, just to be sure. Okie dokie, I'm going to try. Back home, we have a whole holiday for scary things. It's called Halloween. I was good at these kinds of decorations. I'll figure something out. Poor you. So we'll need to have this place at 20 occultism points. This place is not yet scary. About the necklace? Did I? Uh, no necklace yet. All right. Yay! We need more evil things. Look at all this stuff. Blood fountain requires a polished brick of stone, polishing paint, and stone repair kits. Oh, actually, I don't think that's that difficult. Let's make some blood fountains while we're on the case. I need 10 pieces of stone, 10 things of polishing paste. And I want to say polishing paint is, paste is made from oil? Dude's totally a Shinigami. I mean, so the graveyard keeper doesn't kill, but dead things do find their way to the graveyard keeper. Maybe. I wonder if the Halloween ref is seasonal. Maybe. I, Halloween did happen about a month ago. Half a month. It's very possible. We we don't know. I, I don't know. Spooky day can still be upon us. Oh, my party hats are falling. Are my party hats falling? No, my party hats are still on. How's my party hats looking? They doing all right? They're still all there, right? What a beautiful mess that we have here. I love this. I love this. To be fair, aside from grabbing the small party hats, I never quite exp I never quite planned for um, uh, scalability. If I were a startup company, I failed attempting to adjust for scalability. I have no idea how to scale to the next level. Instead, I just continue to work with what I got in a way that is not very beneficial to anybody. In, in any case, let's research what wood logs do. Wood log do? What does it do? What'd that log do? Nice. It gave me green points. Ash. Ash Ketchum. A little bit of Pokemon. A little bit of Pokemon stuff there. I can't wait. By the way, I have not played a lot of Nintendo games, but eventually I'm just going to go on an absolute, like, I'm going to go on an absolute, like, um, Nintendo games rampage. I want to play Pikmin, I want to play Pokemon, I want to play Super Mario games. Like, I just want to do that for a while and not feel bad about it. And I think I'm finally at the point where I don't, I wouldn't feel bad picking up a Pokemon game because like, I've been playing Graveyard Keeper for like two months now. It wouldn't be bad of me to be doing the same with a Pokemon game. Cause previously I was like, I don't want to do the same thing over and over again. Cause I feel like there needs to be variety. Well, guess what? I got work, so Variety will have to uh, just stay on hold for a little bit. Just for a little bit longer. While I enjoy myself. This is all about, this whole thing is all about us enjoying each other, y'all enjoying yourselves, and me also just being able to like relax and play video games and not worry about stuff. That's, that's always a good thing too. Oh, I have Ash now. That's great. Uh, I can make, I can make things now. But comedy increases as ease decreases. Is that scalability? Yes. I think that is scalability. Although, this this implies... Now, let's think about it from the mathematical standpoint. Technically, does comedy have an up limit, or can comedy go to infinity? And if that's the case, if comedy goes to infinity, that means the ease eventually... Uh, comedy increases as ease decreases. So if, de if 
ease goes to zero, meaning it is literally impossible, then it is the most funny thing to do. If I am trying on public television to climb a wall that is physically impossible for me to climb or accomplish a goal that is impossible for me to accomplish, is that the funniest possible emulation of that particular event? I'm inclined to agree. So bring on the impossible tasks. Lay it on me. Let's do it. And then I will suffer. And then I guess everybody else won't suffer because it'll just be premium quality content as we as we um we, we subscribe ourselves to. Wow. How many urns do I need for this columbarium? Oh, and I could totally emulate emerald. See what I really want to do? And and this is not I have nothing against emulators, but I really want to stream like the actual device itself. That'd be so cool. But honestly, that's probably really infeasible, and that's what emulators exist for, so I might just have to suck it up. I might do that. I came here for Ash. I want to see how many of these things. I need 12 of these urns. So I have eight too many in my inventory. Which means I'll need a lot more Ash than I already have. So I'm going to need to... Uh, I'm actually not worried about the columbarium right now. Apparently all that does is display ashes. I don't see any merit in that right now. I see no reason to do that. So whatever. We'll wait on that. I'll use my ash for, for, uh, for alchemy. We'll do some alchemy stuff. We'll find out a bunch of alchemical recipes. We're gonna be alchemical masters. We're gonna bring folks back from the dead. Yeah, yeah, we will. We're gonna bring folks back from the dead. Actually, we did that last time. We already bring up. We already did the zombies. We did the zombie thing already. So technically, we have already brought folks back from the dead. Although, that's the debate of like, are they still dead? Is it undead? What is this sort of limbo of consciousness that we're experiencing here? I don't really know. But that's none of my business now, isn't it? No, I don't think it is. Put the ash in there, put the salt in there. Let's figure out what other recipes we can do. And I can put the, uh, the oil in there too, because oil is also an ingredient. Oh, but you know what I need to do? I need to break some things down. I need to break more stuff down. Like, more maggots. Maggots, what can I break you down into? I have like 30 of y'all. It can be decomposed into liquid too. Well, I have all these maggots, so let's do it. I got a, I got a whole, I got a whole lot of these things. So let's, uh, let's put it in there. Actually, you know what? I think I can build a distillation cube too now? Maybe not yet. I don't know why I can only do one thing at a time in that thing, and that is just annoying. Distillation cube too? No, not yet. Do I have to research that? Distillation cube? 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 Cube, cube, cube? Cube, cube? Distillate? Distillation cube too. I need more blue points. There are various ways to get blue points. We'll figure it out. Let's let's get some blue points, actually. Let's do, let's do the blue. Huh. <laughs> let's do the blue, as the kids say. Actually, to be honest, if the kids are saying that, if anybody knows what it means to do the blue, could you please inform an oldie like myself? Because I don't, I don't know what it means to do the blue, and my children are telling me about it, and I just, I don't know how to respond to them. I, as a parent, what would you do in this situation? I'm not a parent. I don't have children. That was just a bit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you guys. I didn't mean to lie like that. Walter White reference. Do the blue! Oh, it's it's breaking bad. It's crystal meth. My children are doing meth. I think they need counseling. I need to help them. I need to help my children. My children! My children are hooked on drugs when they should be hooked on phonics. <laughs> or or just or, or more meth. Um No 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 I don't I don't think my children need more meth. Unless, unless meth is an acronym. Yeah, meth is an acronym. My children do meth. And meth stands for mathematics, education, trigonometry, and holistic health. My kids study meth and do it too. Right? Please tell me I'm a good parent. I'm a good parent. Right? Yeah, I'm a good parent. My children have learned from me a great example. They do meth all the time. The best parent. There's the verification I was looking for. Now everybody's kid's gonna be doing meth on my watch. Mathematics, education, trigonometry, and holistic health. Although technically that's meth with two H's. So it's 
Methuh. Parents, get your kids to do Methuh. It's probably good for them. Or, or, or maybe not. Honestly, might as well ask. Do you have a therapist? If you're a parent, do you have, do you have a therapist in your local community? You should probably ask the therapist. Ooh, I'm out of ink. That means I need to create black paint. How do I make black paint? Do I know how to make black paint yet? I do know how to make black paint, and I need some water. Give me some wawa. I require a wawa. I gotta go get the wawa. I must go get the water from upstairs. The water makes my face not so crunchy yet. I have actually... It's getting cold outside, which means my skin's getting dry, and I have this little area of skin that's getting dry, like, right up here, and it's like, uh -oh. I gotta start using lotion, apparently. Was emeth the word written on Gollum to give them life, and losing that E meant death? I don't remember. I watched The Lord of the Rings in German, and it didn't stick well with me, because I didn't understand most of the words. Christina, do you know much about Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Does the word emeth... The name Emeth sound familiar to you? It might be a hobbit. Maybe Emeth is a hobbit. Does it have to do with with uh, with Gollum or Smeagol? I think that was his name. That might have been his that, name. That was the name of the guy he choked to death. That was the name of the dude he choked to death. Wow, did that movie really get that dreary? Yep. Wow. <laughs> nice. It's like a flashback he had to his life before he found the ring. This rang a myth bell. I mean, Jewish mythos golems. Oh, oh, like gol, like golems. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know exactly what you're talking about. I watched an anime called Soul Worker and they had golems there. And I'm pretty sure the name MF was written on one of those golems. That's a good one. Not golem, uh, well, not, not the whole, you haven't watched Lord of the Rings. The precious, the precious. <laughs> golem, golem, golem. <sighs> That's not the Hobbit's name. I know that now. I can do a really good I get that now. It's Diagle. Diagle? Diagle. Thought it was Smiggle. Diagle? Is there others? Diagle and Smog? I don't know. It's on my list of things to watch again. I watched Star Wars, or the entire Star Wars thing, like multiple times, but I still can't remember what the hell goes on. Because I'm just a little dense. Just a little. Why did I walk outside? Oh, I needed to black I needed black ink. I needed water. I came for water. Nice! I think it appeared in Soul Eater as well. I, I vaguely remember. I vaguely remember that. So I'm inclined to think that it must be. I have water now. I have water now. Where did the water go? I have 20 water now. Where did that water go? Didn't I just... Oh, I have 20 water now. Nice. The one Gollum's kills is named Deagle. De Deagle? Do Dogle? Diago? Diablo. Diavolo. Pretty sure that's a reference to uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I've been listening. I listened to the OST of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4 today at work. Lord of the Rings predates that by like 30 years. What a bop. Of course Lord of the Rings predates it. I'm not saying that JoJo's Bizarre Adventure came before Lord of the Rings. That's silly. It is silly, right? It's, 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 no, silly? That's silly. Yeah, I don't know how it is, how it's said for that one. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just going to say, Daigle, and, and go with it. Day, Daigle. 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 Backwards, it's Logade. Logade. Logied. <laughs> nice. I gotta watch the extended versions. There's extended versions? That seems like a lot. Not gonna lie. Seems like a lot. They're worth it, though. I'll make sure to do that. Also on HBO? <sighs> Guess I'm adding the Lord of the Rings to my list as well. L O T R. Extend. There we go. This is a pretty, this is a pretty filled up post-it note today. So many recommendations. Daigle died for the worst metal bagel. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> the ring, the ring is a metal bagel. <laughs> right? That's the implication. Anyway, I'm gonna keep laughing. <laughs> I 
I love that. I really like that. That is really funny. I'm. Oh, I have heard that. Oh my god. And I think I hate it. I love it. Oh, I need to make some conical flasks upstairs to create more ink. Excuse me while I go make some ink upstairs and think about my life choices up until this point in time. <sighs> I heard that and I'm very disappointed in you all. Meatball is disappointed. It's okay. We don't have to think we don't have to listen to her. I'm proud of all of you! You're doing great! Bring on! Bring on more uncomfortable analogies! Metal bagels or rings? What else are we here? Does it have to stop there? It doesn't have to stop there. Um, what are... I don't know. Let's make things weird. The um, yellow bagel of torment. Um, um... Oh my god, I'm trying to think of things, but I'm totally drawing up a blank. I was trying to think of a really uncomfortable way to describe a toilet. Um... Dirty thoughts are bad. What are you doing? Oh, oh okay. Okay. Got me worried. I have a little USB hub over there, and it looked like it almost shut off for a second. That would be I awkward. I was being very careful. Though. Very careful. Very careful. What was I doing? Oh, I'm making conical flasks. I need conical flasks. That's why you think I always hear comical flasks. I need comical flasks. I also need sand. Where's my sand at? A comically large flask? Where is my sand? Is my sand in the basement? Where's my sand at? Astro Rock recent. Whoa! I don't know why I just said that. So weird. Astro Rock recently learned that metal cock rings, <coughs> I mean Ring of Power, react differently to different races. So it makes hobbits invisible and causes magic people to essentially be mega powerful. Dwarves would essentially be immune to all damage and such things. Oh! I didn't know that. That's cool. That is cool. I what like does it do that. For humans? What does it do for humans? Out of curiosity. We have seen humans go invisible in the series. Apparently humans have gone invisible in the series. I didn't know that, but some somebody did. Yeah, that sounds cool. Roommate, Christina knows Lord of the Rings. I I'm not very good. That movie. Where's my sand? There's my sand. Got my sand. Oh, Astro doesn't remember about the humans. Time to Google it. That that's you, Christina. If that's your call to action to Google it, do it. Hi, I'm in chat now. Hi, Meepa. Hi. <laughs> You're over there. You're over there, but you're but you're also over over there. I'm trying to point at chat. Where's chat? Chat is deadly. Oh my goodness! It just enhances the biggest thing and makes it mega OP. I'll show you the biggest thing. It's my sense of humor. Obviously, I know a human went invisible in the Great War, but like, what do? What do that human do? What that mouth do? What that human do? What that... What that hobbit do? Feet. Lorelai remembers the Tumblr post, and they were grouchy about humans also being invisible when durability would work. I, for one, like my humans durable. I... I suppose. <laughs> oh my god, can I remove things from chests? No, I can't. Can I... No, I can't use things from chests. I thought I could use things from chests. That would have been so cool. Let's make more glass. Let's make 32 pieces of glass. Why the hell not? Make more glass. The world needs more glass. And conical parts. I'd also need... I also need more fire for the fire pit. I need to grab more wood. Need more wood? Need more firewood? You know what I need? I need zombies that mine the wood for me. I should look into that. I really should. I know I left wood somewhere. Where is it? Yo, wait, can I go down here? Was I always able to go down here? Yes. I was always able to go down here. None of this is new. Don't worry about it, Cameron. Instead, just keep walking. But that would make dwarves the same as humans with the durability thing. Hmm. <laughs> Me has questions for you. Mm -hmm. Up, Yoda. Mm -hmm. We have questions for the audience. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that glass. Ha! A lot of glass. Oh, and now I need conical flasks. Oh, can I cancel this? Uh, I can't cancel it. Is there a way to like? I really wish there was a way to cancel. Ah! 
Astro believes that the ring works the same for humans as it did for Sauron, essentially allowing them to go Super Saiyan and increase their damage output. I want the ring on my finger. Could you imagine? Dude. Imagine. Imagine. And this was the point when Cameron learned to go Super Saiyan! Ah! Just kidding. I don't wanna- I don't wanna do that. I don't need to go Super Saiyan. Who needs Super Saiyan when I'm super speaking? Cause like saying- saying? Like saying words? It's time to meditate, honestly. Let's- let's, let's meditate. I believe the ring- oh, we already said that. So, was Sauron once a human? Let us ponder this for a bit. Oh, just kidding, no more pondering. It's Lord's Day. It's time to be a faithful zealot once more. And and while while we be while we wait for sunrise, we're gonna do alchemy. Sauron was an elf. Maybe. Potentially. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh my god, hiccups. Somebody's gotta spook me. Spook me, make me feel better. Okay, what else we got going on here? I want to do alchemy. Yeah, what do elves get? The power to become gods Yay! Well magic magic folks became more powerful so right so they're magical So maybe that's how they became the Sauron do dwarves not need strength or senses for digging in metal work But this info came from goofs about the hobbits making a game out of sneaking up on Legolas despite his super senses I would have fun in that game. That sounds like good game. Very good game. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna try more stuff. So let's go with... I'm gonna put oil. Actually, let's put water. Water and some other dust that I haven't done before. Oh, okay. I need... I need... Let's do salt. Salt and water? Salt and water? Can I do that? Salt and water? Is that is that alchemy or is that just salt water? Can I make salt water? Let's see. Yay! I got. <laughs> First of all, to be fair, I'm a, to be fair, I'm a halfling in D and D. That was funny. But what was funnier was that I just mixed salt and water together and got goo of death. <laughs> if you mix water and salt together, you will die. <laughs> That that's that's a good lesson that pirates should know. Apparently, dude is like a race of being which is like related to the god who made the world. Elves, I guess. We're talking about Sauron now, right? Not me. I not godly in the least bit. Goo of death. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So salt and salt and death extract. Oh, I want to have death extract. Not the elves. <laughs> what else? What else? He's not an elf at all. Not an elf. I'm not tall at all. I also don't have pointing ears, and I don't make the sounds of ha, 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 ha to get rupees from jars. <laughs> and any case, if the elves' ability to ignore the curvature of the world so far, they are gods on a 2D plane. <laughs> that reminds me of a book I read called Flatland. I would recommend it. It's a good book. It's a good book. It's very math-oriented, but there's no math. Just happiness. I need to figure out how to get death, 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 death extract. How do I get death extract? I want to combine it with death. Oh, but before I do that, it's Lord's Day. Time for your weekly prayer session. Ah, 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 ah. Zaron is officially the dude and rejected child of the East in your eyes now. There's a film ad adaptation for the Light Lens. Wait, is there really? I didn't know that. What? Oh my god, that's so- I didn't know that. Oh my god, I have to put the movie for Flatland on my list. Flatland. That sounds so cool. I had no idea about that. Oh. Child of the East? Explain yourself. But first, bask in the glory that is the Lord our God. Sauron? I don't, I don't know. Is he godly? I don't know. <laughs> Wishes he was. Oh, Sauron thinks he's God now, doesn't he? Well, let me tell you what it takes to be a God. A lot of methamphetamine and ketamine. I, I see 
God is Yoda, you say? Mmm. God is Yoda. Yoda is God. Mmm. <laughs> oh God. No, not not not. Not you, or you. Which one is God? Which direction is God? Is God up there? Is God down there? Is God every which way? I don't know. Let's not question religion right now. That's a hot topic. Lord's Day is over. Go talk about it in your confessional. Uh, I got faith. What does faith do? What that faith do? I'm gonna research goo of death. Yay! It can be decomposed into fluid and essence. That's good. Oh, and I got a little piece of... I got a little blue one. Let's research glass. All right, research glass. Let's research more things. Can I research anything else? I can research the goo. I can research all the goo. Research all the goo. Gonna research all the goo. Yeah, oh, goo. If you think about it, the stuff going on in the movies is basically a proxy war. What's a proxy? I mean, I guess a proxy is like a stand-in for something else. Hey, it makes sense. Hums, it's tough to be a god from El Dorado. I didn't watch all of El Dorado. What? I didn't watch El Dorado. Why? But I don't know. I just haven't watched it yet. Why are you questioning things so aggressively? Jeez. It's such a good movie. It's iconic. All I'm saying is I have not yet watched El Dorado. I will watch El Dorado. Actually... Okay, correction. I have watched El Dorado before, but I was very young and I don't remember any of it. Like, any. I, I'm completely blanking of what the plot of the movie even was. And I'm pretty sure it had something to do with finding the lost city of El Dorado, but like, don't quote me on it. it it's, it's about two out, outcasts and kind of get in, in trouble with the law. They run away and they, they accidentally find the lost city of El Dorado. It's about what they do when they get there and what happens to them. So apparently it's about two outcasts who have troubles with the law, and then they accidentally find the city of Dorado, El Dorado, and then they go and do stuff there. I know that now. Was it also a Disney movie? I think so, yeah. Or was it like one of those awkward ones that it's like, it's not a Disney movie, but it's also kind of a Disney movie, like, like, um, Anastasia, which is not a Disney movie. But like, people are like, it's gotta be a Disney movie, but it's not a Disney movie. I don't know. If it's not a Disney movie, you'll be too. You will become one of us. Disney is going to absorb all forms of media that we know. One day. One day. Oh, I can... What can I turn jelly into? Oh, that makes sense. DreamWorks 2D, potentially. Oh, DreamWorks. Ah, it was DreamWorks. Okay, okay. You know, DreamWorks was also the folks who made Shrek. Oh, yeah. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Stop! Never. I will never stop. The gold is CGI and they make a goof on their logo. Oh, really? Oh, that's, that's cute. I like that. Didn't DreamWorks also do Despicable Me? That's a really good movie, too. Although I'd like to forget the fact that, um, I'd like to forget the fact that Minions ever existed, but hey, whatever. What does help turn into? Oh my god, if I grind up hemp, it turns into acceleration powder. That makes total sense. So cocaine. Because it gets you high. No, marijuana, dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven, I think, lives in a fourth dimensional plane. And when we die, we go there to learn how to interact with the third dimensional plane and make our own worlds and decide how the laws and rules of them and how those new spirits will react to our nurturing and love or lack thereof. Yo, that was deep. We like deep thoughts on this channel. What do I think happens after death? I really don't know what happens after death. I would be totally honest. However, I do think... I have some... I have some... I have some, uh... Brothers of mine. Brothers and sister of mine that never actually made it to this earth. And I like to think that they're on the other side somewhere for me to meet them. What that plane will be, and in what form, I know nothing of it. I don't know if it exists. I have no proof that it does. Nor do I have much faith that it's there. But if it is there, I hope to see them again one day. But anyway, back to death, I guess, because we were always on the topic. We're playing a game where people die. It's a great thing. I think DreamWorks did Prince of Egypt and definitely did Sinbad. 
Prince of Egypt, Egypt, aka Jesus movie. I never watched Prince of Egypt either. Although I think I remember it being a good one. Wasn't that was Prince of Egypt the sh the the one about the one dude freeing like like guiding the I, I don't I, actually, I really don't know what it was. No he Moses movie. Oh Moses, he parts the Red Sea. Yes, he leads the Jews out of Jerusalem and saves them. I remember that story from Bible classes. Did I remember it fondly? Not really. But I do remember. Right? Was I right about that? Maybe no? Moses? Oh, I don't even know anymore. Batwings! Does Batwing become death? No, that's Chaos Powder. Mm. You mean Egypt. Out of Egypt, but close enough. Oh. Hey! Egypt! Is Egypt spelled with a J? I've always seen it in my textbooks as G, but I could be wrong. I can always be wrong. Everything I do can be proven wrong. Everything. Even my thoughts on life. What do we got here? Maggots! More maggots! He led them to- He led them to Jerusalem. Oh! Escape from Egypt into Jerusalem. Come to think of it, my logic was flawed there. I, for some reason, thought- I, for some reason, was like- Oh yeah, the Jews definitely wanted to get out of Jerusalem. No, 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 no. They most definitely wanted to get back to Jerusalem. I remember that now. That was my B. I was never a history buff. I was never very good at the history. Never very good at the history. That was not one of my strong suits. Definitely not one of my strong suits. It should do a city. You're right. You're absolutely right. You're, you're totally correct. I will not fight you on that. You're totally right. I made my boo-boo. I made my boo-goo boo-boo. Although, I, I guess it wasn't too big boo-boo. You know what was pretty big boo-boo? On the topic of Jerusalem and just religion in general? Especially a couple in particular? Pretty bad mood for Pontius Pilate to be like, Yo, kill that Jesus guy. Yeah, you can, you can crucify him. Pretty bad move. People hate him for it. Even after all this time. Like, I can't believe you did that. And Pontius was just like, I was just doing my job, bro. And then Judas. Oh, Judas was just like, I take no responsibility for this. Or maybe he did really take responsibility for it. I don't know. I don't exactly know how the world views Judas now. The, the, the great betrayer. But I guess I did just call him a great betrayer. So maybe like, maybe that's got something to do with it. I don't know. I am unsure. <laughs> he was kind of like, yeah, dude was literally perfect. Jesus was apparently like the perfect man. Literally. You want to, there is no more ideal a lover than Jesus Christ himself. I rest my case. Make love to the Lord. Love the Lord your God and make love to him. I'm gonna take a long sip of my beverage and, and fill it back up. It was a very controversial statement. So I just wanna let that sit for a little bit. All I'm saying, and I, I know some people out there who've got quite the boner for Jesus. I don't feel the same myself, but cheers. What if he two s? What if he two S? Like two S cheeks? Maybe. What if he two S was a dude with a lot of charisma? I say he probably was a dude with a lot of charisma. I feel like you don't get into the history books unless you know what you're talking about. Or at the very least, have a very good way of talking about whatever it is that you talk about with people in general. That's what I think. How did you misspell charisma? Did I not what is a two as? Oh, was. Oh, two was supposed to be was. Oh, two is pretty close to W on the keyboard. I understand now. Yo, I can make dinner by combining eggs. Uh, I need top quality dinners, right? I need top quality dinners. I need top quality dinners. Meaning I need the highest quality op. Wait a minute. What is, what is going on here? Wait a minute. How do I make top quality dinners? Wait, what? Oh. I have so many different ways to make dinner. Look at that! Wow! 
Interesting. There's a lot of options for that. Jesus was a warlock, but his father was the deity? Hmm. That's warlocky. That seems pretty warlocky to me. Or is that sorcerer? I don't remember. I think that's warlock. I mean, the Bible says he suffered everything we would, so dude had to go through every problem we can imagine in order to learn how to help us. That means that Jesus experienced the awkwardness of being between jobs. And honestly, amen. Hats off to that. I'll take it. Ooh, so if I make onion rings, how do I make really good onion rings? Oh, this is a good question. I need to make really good onion rings. Do I know how to make onion rings yet? I don't? Do I know how to make onion rings? I know I know how to make onion rings. I can also make pretty good omelets. Onion rings? Onion? Onion? What are onion rings? No, I thought I could make onion rings. So sad. I need to figure out the best way to make dinner. But how do? What's the best way to make dinner? If I do it like this, it's pretty low quality. But if I go up, what's the highest thing on the menu? What's the top? Vegetable salad. Laura Lido's Warlocks is the jokes about playing as a greater being sugar baby. <laughs> I like that. I like that. God's just like, I want a child. And the Warlock's just like, Daddy. I'm like, I'll give you all the love and affection you want, but you better praise me every day. Toasts with onions. I don't know what toasts with onions is. I can make sandwiches. Yo, I can make sandwiches? No, I can only do bronze sandwiches. Why not make bronze sandwiches? What else can we do to make up for that? I can make a really good bowl of lentils or a really good bowl of pumpkin soup. And then what else to top it off? Not a cake. Not a cake. Grape pie, grape pie, grape pie. Why are there two? Oh, there. Hmm. Ooh, I can make cheesecake. Panna cotta? I have no idea what that is. Honey pudding? Sounds delightful. Berry pudding. There are so many different pudding options. Huh. He also had to deal with depression and mental problems like BPD and ADHD that we still to this day don't even fully understand. Amen, brother. I'm down with that sickness. And so was Jesus. He was down with every sickness. He also suffered cancer. Jesus had menstrual cramps. Amen, sister. Jesus had to go through it all. According to, according to the scripture, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. What was I doing? Oh, I'm waiting for the conical flasks because I need paint. There we go. There we go. A couple of more blue pieces. A couple of more blue pieces. I like that. That's good. Dude, Jesus was literally everything at the same time. That's so crazy. Truly an icon. Absolutely an icon. That man was experiencing necrosis. His body was literally rotting up there, probably. Or maybe he was just experiencing it. Or maybe, like, conscious consciousness isn't as linear as we all thought it was. And Jesus was going through the same experiences that us humans can go through, but except at a rapid pace, existing in many universes at the same time, thereby experiencing everything at the same part. Jesus was a trans man? Maybe he went through it all! I'm sure... You know what? You know what else, too? Jesus also went through embarrassment because of his transition. Amen. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. I need more conical flask. Maybe he was a hermaphrodite, or rather he knew what it felt like to be a hermaphrodite. For a hot moment, he was just like, whoa. All right. That wasn't painful, but... I experienced it. Or maybe it hurt. Maybe, maybe it does hurt. Does it hurt? Did it hurt? When you fell from heaven? Did it hurt? When you crawled your way out of the pits of hell? Did it hurt? When your mother dropped you on your head as a child? Did it hurt? When you electrocuted yourself at the age of two, thereby aspiring a long life of electrical and computer engineering that will last a lifetime? And these are my pickup lines. None of them are personally related to me, I assure you. None of them. Anyway, time to use these conical flasks for something. Hey! You cheer! <laughs> Did I break it? What the heck? What the? F 
This one's a difficult one today. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, not sure on all that, but it's a cool concept to think about. Who knows? It's nice to think about things sometimes. Ow, that really hurt my mouth. I think I bit my lip. That's okay. In case I've done something that needs surgical in influence, I do have pliers. You can rip out my teeth if it's necessary. No, let's not. Let's not do that. I was using that to adjust my microphone before. Jesus felt that too. Jesus must definitely bit his lip on that cross. Most definitely. Lorelai supports the theory that solves the issue of what the Y chromosome Mary's virgin birth would need for him to be a miracle. I, AMAB. I don't know what AMAB means. A miracle at birth? Miracle at birth? But being a genetic clone of the result of immaculate conception makes sense to be as much as it can. Dude, the fact that, like, twins can be born, the fact that, like, twins can eat each other in the womb, and people can be born with, like, multiple... Oh, assigned male at birth. Oh, okay, I see that now. I see that. But, like, dude, genetic weirdnesses happen all the time, and let's not call it weirdnesses. Let's just call them anomalies, just because they're not on the average. And no, I don't mean anomaly in like a negative connotation either, but like that is so freaking cool Like like I gotta think of it this way. I feel like a lot of times folks are like, oh feel special about yourself You were like the one sperm that made it out of hundreds of millions of others Yeah, but like let's say that you were a twin as well or you were born with like blue eyes like that's that's like that's like a minority population not a, like the average person I don't think has blue eyes the average person doesn't have an extra limb. That is so freaking cool Granted, I, I am most definitely very easily glossing over, like, if you were born with, like, detriments, like, for example, you were born blind, or you're missing limbs and whatnot, but even still, like, despite the handicap of it all, which I hope to goodness, society, wherever you are, if you experience that, has given you proper, like, equality standpoints for that, and make it easier for you to, like, dude, if the place you work for doesn't have, like, a ramp, if you can't use your legs and you need a wheelchair, like, Fuck that company. Stupid company. But, like, that stuff is so cool. Like, you were not only one of a million, not even one of a millions. You were one of millions, like, to another power. Like, multiplied. Because, like, that's even smaller a chance of happening. That is so cool. I am, like, if average as they come. I have white skin. I have... Actually, actually, I, I, so let me correct myself there. I actually have no idea what the numbers are of skin color in on a global standpoint, so... I wiped that from the record. I have no knowledge on that. But like, I got brown eyes. I'm pretty sure that's average. I got brown hair. I'm pretty sure that's average. I'm literally average height. I don't have everything that's not average. Like, if you are literally not average in any way, that is so freaking cool. I love that. I don't know. That stuff gets me, like, really, really excited. I don't know. I just think that's a really cool thing. To then again, then again, I'm a very, half, like, glass half full kind of person, so... It's a lot easier for me. Also, I'm not in that situation, so it's a lot easier for me to be like, Yo, it's totally great to be you, because I have no idea what it's like to be you. But maybe there's a universe that we all live in where we can all understand. I don't know. Anyway, tangent. It makes... It, I don't know. It feels, it feels good to... It feels good to think good things. Yo, it's time to do some exercises. Time to do some LED one flexions. Where the Y came from is the point. Sorry, that got messy. Oh, no problem. And I mean, say Jesus was like the most average looking guy in the Middle East. Yeah, potentially. I'm doing my LED one flexions. I'm just kind of doing this thing of my... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have a controller. I can keep moving. Keep on moving. Why don't I have this thing? Understand exercise. I have no idea where you jumped in. Oh, we're talking about Jesus. And various other things as well. Various other things. What did I need these conical flasks for? I was building something? I was building something. What was I building? I need conical flasks. What do I need the conical flask for? I completely forgot what these conical flasks are for. What was I doing this way? Yo, I was building ink. That was it. I need ink. I gotta have ink. Let's talk about ink, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Anyway, uh, can I work? Oh, I gotta go all the way to the other side. All right, then. Doing my LED one flexions. The camera isn't at the right angle for that, but, uh, Oh, you know, actually, well, technically, bit. oh my god, I can't work because I can't get in front of the, damn it! I gotta rearrange my thing down here. That is so unfortunate. Oh my god. That is so annoying. Dude, my legs hurt so much from my run that I did yesterday. Ugh. Oh my god. That was a lot. That was a lot. Wait a minute, where'd the... 
Oh, I fulfilled the request already. Somebody, one of the mods must have checked that off for me. I was like, where's the request? I'm pretty sure I was just requested to do exercise. Whichever mod it was. Thank you. You're a good mod. Blue tech troubles. Blah. Blah tech trouble. Yeah. God. I hope it did it take my materials already. No. Oh, man. Oh, Doogie Hauser MD. I guess I'll move this thing out of the way then. I'll move my shelf elsewhere. I'm going to remove this up here. Because that's, that's in the way. I'll remove this one as well. Ugh. Time to break shit apart. Ugh, Leah, let's talk about ink, baby. Ugh. Ah. It's fine. It's fine. Um, what was that table again? Study table? Uh, I need more flasks. Oh! All right, time to make more flasks. Going upstairs. Going upstairs for more flasks. Did I get my material back from the... No, I didn't even get my material back from the other things. Ooh. That makes me sad. Hey, graveyard keeper devs. Can we, like... Can you do me a favor? Can we, like, not lose our resources when we're blocked from doing the job that we just gave ourselves to do? Granted, it's totally my fault, but, like, that'd be really dope. That'd be, like, super dope. Anyway, let's make more conical flasks, I guess. Oh, I need more wood. Which means I need to go chop down some trees. Let's go chop down some trees. Let's... I feel like I haven't been breathing. You know what? I need to calm down. What's my what's my heart rate at? My heart rate's at 81. I gotta slow things down a bit. Maybe. Starting with, also, imagine the dysphoria of having to go through everyone's life who would ever live with all the nice things that they have and then have to get nailed to the cross and just hang there for like 16 hours and literally give up on trying to live. Yeah. It's a lot of suffering. It's a terrible, terrible thing. And it's actually, I mean, if you think about it from, like, the standpoint of that particular, like, like that particular, like, religious standpoint of it all, it's like, yeah, that dude went through, like, every single hardship. Like, is it really that, like, if, like, should you abide to that belief? Is it wrong to be like, yo, this dude deserves praise? Because, like, crazy. But if you don't die, if you don't sin, he died for nothing. <laughs> oh my god wow what a turn that around if i don't sin jesus died for nothing so here's to the vices of life Fuck. <laughs> i like that philosophy i abide by that one i like that one the thing is it's probably true <laughs> well i love how that turned around but like but like true i suppose but i feel like there's also warring philosophies on that i don't know technically i am the preacher man in this game so i say yeah you're right however if you are seriously questioning this for yourself i encourage you to talk to your local clergyman or therapist depending on where you find yourself in life astros a mormon you know what you're talking about or at least was dude and if i i bet if i paid attention more to those CCD classes of mine, I'd probably be more up to snuff about that stuff too. Uh, but I'm not. Really, the only place that I can go to talk about religious things is the Scientology place, way up that way, and I'm a little scared to walk in. Still, think, still thinking about how to go about that. How to go about what? Just kind of like come into terms with it? I suppose I would think, if I had to think about it, coming to terms with that, like, like, um, thinking about how to go about like for example like telling your parents and stuff like that uh, i had a i had a very tough time talking to my parents about the religious aspect on things i had my own thoughts i had my own practices and it was just kind of tough to talk about. it's still it's still a tough topic i'm not very good at talking about it with certain people but i am only human and you know we've all we've all got our ups and downs all about our ups and downs. Need, needless to say, though, 
I love having these conversations. Like, totally aside from anything, like, stream-related, whether it doesn't have to happen on here, it's a touchy subject for a lot of people, I completely understand that. Like, I really like the idea of debating about stuff, or just, just discussing things in general. The fact that I have the privilege to be able to talk to somebody who has a completely different perspective than I is, like... It's like a, it's a total gift if I if I think about it in the, the most like I guess juvenile way possible. Like, it's a gift. It's a gift that we all have different opinions. That's a really really cool thing. And so long as we can like try to see it from each other's perspectives, we don't have to agree. But I think it's really really cool. And I am more than happy, more than happy to entertain conversation when it has anything to do with that stuff. Will it get touchy? Probably. But literally all things religion and politics are touchy. So you know, just let it let it be. Let it be. Honestly, I think it's really cool to be able to let somebody get like up and up and like kind of like uh, get, like up and like really. I'm trying to think of the right word to use. Like motivated about what they're talking about. They can be totally pissed off about what they're saying, but something about a man screaming and like seething about what they're talking about is an incredibly entertaining thing to observe. So like, is it all that bad? No, I don't think so. Not unless you're hurting somebody. In which case. Maybe to dial it back. Dial it back on the regret. I don't know. I don't really... I'm, this is not a place for me to give advice on things. I suppose. But, like, the nice thing is that you can't prove who's right or wrong. Absolutely. Um, I take this... I take this phrase out of a book of somebody else. I don't know... I don't know who wrote the book. But, um... Opinions are like assholes. We all have them. And they all stink. I don't know who said it. But I completely agree with that. Like, they all stay. All of our opinions stink, but we've all got them, so let's just come to terms to talk about it. Like, let's talk about, like, let's not hold ourselves back from talking about, like, the weird things in life. For example, sex behind closed doors and stuff like that. People get oppressed because of shit like that. We need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. This is getting a little political, by the way, and I, if it makes you uncomfortable, I, I apologize. But, I do, I do feel like I am very comfortable talking about this stuff, for the most part, if I know about it. And oftentimes, I don't really know what I'm talking about, in which case, I try to talk about it. Although, I cannot guarantee any sort of political correctness, but really, that's not my goal anyway. It's nice to be a free thinker. Or at least think that I'm a free thinker. Maybe I'm not the free thinker I think I am. I'm gonna take a step back. I oftentimes don't know how to take a step back. I'm gonna take a step back. Anyways, we're playing a video game. And that's a lovely thing. And I like video games. Astro has evolved in their thinking to like the idea of something is out there, but no one is exactly the right, exactly right. And when we die, the things we know will be added upon and then the things that we didn't understand or had wrong would be changed. I like that philosophy. Sex is great, but have you considered garlic bread? Religion's great, but have you considered sex and then considered garlic bread? In any case, look, man, gar garlic bread's nice, but I need the touch of a wound sometime. Sometimes. I, yes. Yes, I completely agree. I was about to, I was about to share something personally intimate that my fiance had shared with me the other day but i don't think it is my place to share so i'm just going to pocket that not worry about i never mentioned it but seriously who's really a free thinker it's called giving our two cents that's a good one i like that yo give this girl a cookie that's good. Cookie. Snaps. That's a good one. I like that pun. I like that. I like that. I'm not even going to scream about that one. I'm screaming internally, but I'm not going to scream externally. That was a good one. You've earned it. So, so like, so, so like, free means no money at all. And, and two cents would be, like, a cost. So that's, that's me explaining the joke. And it, I just want to make sure you understand. But you can give someone a penny for their thoughts. So wait, 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 hold up a second. Wait, wait, let's think about that for a moment. If I give my own opinion, it's two cents. But if somebody's giving me their opinion, they're only giving me one cent? Or maybe the two euphemisms are like, they work hand in hand with each other. Or maybe they're not connected at all. 
Or maybe they're not connected at all. It's just my monkey brain attempting to connect them. <laughs> Gingerbread man's cousin is a special hit with their partners. What? I don't know if I get that one. That might be a little meta for me. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that donkey. Costs more to spew things from yourself. Yeah. I guess it does cost us more money to get things off of our chest. I've heard that therapy is expensive. I I understand. I can totally see that. I totally get that. I know a guy who went for therapy. He's told me it's a wonderful thing if you have the right therapist. I have not yet gone to a therapist. I came pretty close one time. I was during my low points. I, I think I've recovered since then. All right, okay, so I'm not totally recovered. Mental health is something that you can't just like mental health issues is not something that you can completely bounce back from and i'll admit i ain't perfect but garlic bread versus sex was that comment oh gingerbread man's cousin is a special hit with their pro oh because like garlic bread is a cousin of the gingerbread man because they're both bread i see where you're coming i'm picking up what you're putting down i get that i need two more box of would you would you two more blocks of would and how do i make a study table I need more material. Study table. I need planks, parts, and more conical flasks. Mm. I am the frustrated. This is bringing me the not so happies. But it's fine. Let's take a couple of these. Just two, please. Can I take a couple of... No, there's a bunch of firewood in there. Don't know why. Oh, because I made it from here. How much firewood do I have in my... Ah, firewood? I only have five? What are you talking about? I have more firewood than that, don't I? No, I don't. Oh, I have five in my inventory. Oh. Do I have any simple wire parts? I do. That's good. That's good. I like that. I have more energy to fuel the fire. And I like to fuel the fire. Fueling the fire is good. And brings fire to our bellies. And don't we want to light a fire in all of our bellies? Light a fire in your heart, my friends. Garlic bread is just better with cheese, just like sexy time. Yes, I most definitely enjoy sexual activity when I'm smothered in uh, cow excrement that's been processed. Excrement. Cows. What are the thoughts going through my heads right now? What, what is happening in my brain? There's things happening in my brain right now. I can only have 50 at a time? Ah! Ah! I can only have 50 firewood at a time. Who knew? Trimu. Trimu knew. Trimu always knows. Trimu's watching. He's watching all of us. All right, now I can make more conical flasks. Just two, please. Thank you. Can I put the glass away? That's fine. I don't need that. However, oop, tried to scratch my head, but there's a party hat in the way. Look at that. Oh, I also have all this alchemical oh, stuff in my inventory. Conical flasks. I need two more of those. I also need two more simple iron parts. Maybe two cents because it costs more to give it to someone who didn't ask for them, but a present tent, present interest makes them cheaper. But like, if I buy something now, it's usually more expensive than if I wait a month for it or wait a couple days or so. At least that's what I've found. I could be wrong, though. Speaking of which, I should have gotten an Amazon delivery today. Didn't I? No? Aww. But my thermal pants order has has uh, has shipped. I buy thermal... I wear thermal pants. I get cold. I'm cold at work. It's freaking freezing in the office, at least from my point of view. So whenever somebody asks me at work, Hey, is it cold in here? I'm like, yes, it always is. But you shouldn't be asking me, because I'm biased. I told my doctor about the fact that I'm cold all the time, and she's like, would you like my honest answer? And I was like, I would like your honest answer. And she says, science really isn't at a point where we know what causes, like, science and medicine isn't at a point right now where we really know what causes, like, like, people to just feel cold even when they're not. So, uh, suffice to say, you're a cool guy. And I was like, doctor, I appreciate that. I like that. Astro loves being cold, probably because it's, it's hot down there. It's hot where y'all are. It's cold up here. Philadelphia's cold, dude. I would much rather be hot. I would much rather be down in like South Carolina or Florida right now and live down there. Cause like, ugh, 
I love that. I love that. My your resting body temperature is 99 degrees. You are perpetually in a state of fever? Sounds to me like you should definitely go for your physical. Or at least ask your doctor's permission before going online. Wait, I definitely mixed something up there. Ask your parents' permission before going online. Consult your doctor before taking, like, Prilosec or something. Consume Prilosec! I do not consume Prilosec. Is my goo all there? Oh, thank God my goo is still there. I don't know if items despawn in this. Uh, alchemy rack. I can build an alchemy rack now. Let's put the alchemy rack up here. Please and thank you. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Study table requires more conical flasks and flat pieces of wood. Let's go build this. Build, 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 build. So I can put all the goo back in their proper place. It's the goo time. It's the goo time. It's the goo time now. Don't forget your actual parents' permission before going to goo. Apparently, it's normal to be around 99, between 97 and 99? Well, I guess 98.6 is, like, average human temperature. So, I guess 99 is really not that far off. It's, like, really not that far off. It's, like, 0.4 degrees. Up. Oh, okay, actually, yeah, that, that actually seems pretty normal. I'll admit that. That seems pretty normal to me. So, uh, you can have that. That's good. It's easier to fix being cold than being hot for y'all, for Lorelei. But can confirm both of those places are very pleasant this time of year. Yeah. I like Florida. I like South Carolina. It's warm down there. It makes me feel warm inside and outside. And I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Ah. Might I say, by the way, for everybody, it has been two and a half hours and... I didn't even realize that it was 10 o'clock at night already. Like, consumption! I will consume! You know I will! It's beautiful. It's a, it's a nice, a little sour, but good. But like, might I say, it's been two and a half hours so far, and like, the conversation has been lovely. I've completely lost track of time. I don't even think I've made any progress in this game, but really, that doesn't matter. I don't think that matters. So long as we're all having a good time. Y'all having a good time? You having a good time? Chug it? No. You can't make me. I will drink it upon my own accord. However, I don't know where my water, my water is. I actually don't have a cup of water with me. I really should. Hmm. I don't know where my water is. I, I need to get my water. I just noticed. I don't have water, so let me go grab water real quick. It's in my backpack. Water time. I'm super hydrated water time But did you know that water is necessary for bodily function? Yeah Water is necessary for bodily function <laughs> Give me some of that H2 <laughs> Whoa <laughs> I'll see myself out just kidding. I'm staying right here. You can't you can't make me go. You can't make me. You cannot. You cannot make me. That anvil looks like Perry the Platypus. <gasps> Perry the Platypus! <gasps> Perry the Iron Perry the Platyp Anvil! He's Perry! Perry the Smithing Anvil! <laughs> Perry, forge on P. P is in platypus. I mean, or P is in Perry. It really, it's your choice. We know Snake has an orphan trinket book with the best trait from a Death Note, which can help us get home. Yes, it will help us get home. We'll use this as a tool later on. What Snake? You know Snake, our pal who lives in my basement. He's a dude. He's a dude who does things. I need more wood. I wanna go grab wood. Perry the super spy? Snake the super spy? No, silly. Snake is in the one who comes out on green days. He's a character. He does, he does things. 
He finds things for us. He makes us feel ways that we didn't think was possible. Green Day? Green Day! Yeah! That's... That's this day. That's that day. That's Green Day. See, these are the days of the week. There's Green Day, there's Claw Day, there's Downward Facing Day, there's Lord's Day Sunday, Moon Day, and Upward Facing Day. Those are all the days we have. And today is Moon Day. I'm gonna take this wood with me. Come on, go, go, go. Go! Log! Rotate! Log! Go! Rotate banana! Come on, log, move. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Put it on there. I need wooden planks. I need exactly three to rebuild my study table. I am out of energy. Time to eat a sandwich. Sonic, he's on the run. Sonic is number one. Sonic is coming. And so watch out. It's Sonic X. So I gotta go fast. I gotta go fast. I'm gonna go faster, 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 Sonic. It's gonna go faster, gonna go faster. Gonna go faster, 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 Sonic me. I actually started watching Sonic X again, but I stopped. I, I couldn't keep with it. I just couldn't do it. Could not keep up the effort. It's time for American Idiot Day in a world with no America, as far as we know. It's time for American Idiot. Oh, American Idiot. Don't wanna be an American idiot. If I had, if I had bopped too hard, all of my party hats will fall off. So, I wouldn't want to bring about literally the end of the universe as I know it. Ink. Oh, time to eat carrot cutlets. Mmm, carrots. Carrots. Mmm. Uh, what else I need? Pen and ink. Yeah, let's make some pen and ink. Yeah. All right. I wonder, can I mix ink with anything? Is that a thing I can do? Nope. Can I? Have I researched ink before? Have I researched ink before? Let's research ink. I've already researched it. It doesn't decompose. Sad. Green Day, only song that came to mind. American Idiot. You know, the one that goes like... You know, that one. I say as my party hats become, you know, no, despite all the head bopping, my party hats are still all on my head. And one of them is even functioning as an earring right now. It's so, I like that. That's functional. I like that. That's good. Me like date. Me like date. All right, so I made the ink. Why did I make the ink? I made the ink because I was trying to get blue points. So I'm working on my stories. Today's story is about a young man named Frederick. Frederick was a man. That's it. End of story. He was just a person who existed. Nothing special about his life, but he enjoyed it, and he had a wife and kids. Maybe. But then he lost them. <gasps> Frederick, no. Frederick, yes, is what his wife would say when he came home from work with the, with the money as the breadwinner. Frederick would be like, Honey, I made $20 today. And she'd be like, Frederick, yes. Frederick's wife's name was Jeremy. Because... It's 2021, and it's okay for the wife to be named Jeremy. Name your children whatever you want to, and then they will become whatever they want. Oh. Jeremy then died. Jeremy is in Frederick's wife, that is. It was a very unfortunate time in Frederick's life. He then spiraled into a pit of depression, but out of that depression came a an invention that changed the world forever. And, and... And then we'll pick up with that story next time. Uh... Astro got the red heart on Snapchat with Re finally. Nice. The red heart means best friends, right? That's that's the Snapchat thing? I think that's what that means. I have a I use the, the best friend is the smiling blushing face. Best friend is the smiling blushing face. So I think I think the heart means maybe you're one of their best friends or something. It's I, I don't remember what they mean. Snapchat explains it. So it's, it's a wonderful life that we live. Uh, let's try to make some good stories. Let's try to make some good stories. Good stories. Uh, let's just make some shitty stories then. That's fine. 10% chance? That's fine. Frederick, whose parents were stuck between two names, so they combined the two. Fred and Rick. Yes. You're right. That's exactly why Frederick was named that way. At least so I'm led to believe. But I really, if it's the story we've got, why not just go with it? Chapter. 
chapter. Oh, whoa. This is the farthest you've ever gotten with anybody on Snap. That's awesome. I um, I used to not be super into Snap, but I came to a point where I wanted to Snap more people. So I just, just started snapping people every day. I think my highest streak is like over 700 days now. I snap every single day. Um, and literally, like, 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 don't get me wrong. Literally, if you add me on Snapchat, you will get a, an unsolicited picture of my face every morning. And there will be no context with it. It's just my face. <laughs> Astro's at 48. Yo, but this is still great, though. That's an achievement if I've ever seen it. Dude, you want it? By all means, we'll figure this out. DM me. You'll be... We'll, we'll snap. It'll be great. Snap time. <laughs> snap time. Let's snap right now. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Let's snap. Let's snap one of the party's newest VIPs. I'm going to send a Snapchat to my mother. Let's do it. Everybody pose. It's selfie time. Everybody, everybody pose. Okay? Okay? Um, on the count of three. On the count of three. One... Two, three. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. That's gonna go to my mother. Robin's gonna be like, what are you doing? Dude, did you blink? Oh, shit, man. We gotta take another one. This one will go to my, my fiance. All right, one more time. One, two, two and a half. Two, two and three quarters. Astro, don't blink. Three. There we go. Woo! I'm gonna post that on my Snapchat story. And send it to my fiance. Because we're in a good mood today. My story. You know what? Let's put it on the Snap map too. Who cares? We're young, wild, and free. Now anybody who pokes on this... What the... Now anybody who pokes on this part of Philadelphia will be like, The hell is this guy doing? Come to think of it. I just, I just had a thought. What if I advertise myself on Snapchat? What if like... Every single Wednesday, I'm just like, yo, HTTPS colon slash twitch.tv slash camera with an X. Like, on the snap map in Philadelphia. Like, will it work? Does it seem a little pandery? Not really. I wouldn't do it. It, it won't work unless you advertise it on other social media. I wouldn't do it anyway. I don't tend to like to advertise myself. It just, I don't feel like getting in people's faces. Like, I feel like if I'm actively being like, yo, 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 watch my stream. Yo, come watch my stream. Then... It's annoying. Personally, if somebody did that to me, I would be annoyed. If I follow you, I will pop in when I can. And for the most part, I'm at work. So bothering me does not make you any more likely for me to be on. However, I try to lurk if I can. If it's like somebody I really, really, really want the support, I will, I will attempt to turn on a computer in the background. I will try to. But being that I have a roommate now, I don't always have the computer to use because we share it for now. Uh, her, her computer's at home, so we haven't brought that up yet. Still, we do things. We do things. But so I can't, like, randomly hijack the computer from work and be like, Oh, we're watching my buddy now. It just feels rude. I don't, I don't want to impose. <laughs> I never, never want to impose. I never like imposing. You can still do it if you want. I, I, I've just been given explicit permission from the roommate that I'm allowed to do that, but I still won't because I feel like I don't want to impose. I just don't want to. I just, I, I don't know. I feel bad. I feel bad. I don't know. God. Time to go upstairs and pray to the Lord. Whatever Lord we want to pray, pray to. How about, let's see, who are we praying to today? Today, we're going to pray to... Um, the gods of pliers. Um, the gods of forgers. The gods of blacksmithing. We are praying to Hephaestus. The mighty blacksmith of... I don't remember whether that was Greek mythology or Roman. You're talking about Vulcan. I am also talking about Vulcan and Hephaestus. Anyway, they have blessed us with nothing special. But we are thankful nonetheless for the gods that make the world around us. That's a, that's a very good thing. It's a very wonderful thing. Time to go collect the spoils before everything spoils. <laughs> Some mun muns. Nope, I don't want to walk outside. Hello. Pray to the jerk who isekai'd you from your wife and smites you for leaving town. Yeah, fuck that dude. Uh, I mean, pray to that dude. 
I'm praying to you, my dude. Read between the lines. Some mighty, mighty god person thing. Yeah. All right. Well, now, so I can now research distillation. Distillate. Got it. Distillation cube two. Electric boogaloo. I'm going to build a distillation cube two so I can distill more. Distillation cube two. Distillate harder. I need four gears, complex iron parts, and 30 pieces of stone. So, let's go make some steel. And then, gears. I like that. That's good. I need more iron. I gotta go to the quarry. I think I gotta go to the quarry. How to make steel again? It's iron and graphite, right? Steel is iron ore and coal. Oh, graphite. And you get graphite from coal. So let's do... Let's make some graphite while I'm gone. I'm gonna go to the quarry. I'm gonna go to the quarry and mine some things. The Bible is an isekai, apparently. What? I wanna see that anime. I don't know what that means, but someone was talking about it on, on the clock app. Uh, uh, TikTok. Yeah, I. T -t -t TikTok on the clock, baby. Uh, isekai is when you get transported to another world. Dude, I believe that. What if Jesus. Yo, what if Jesus was the one who was isekai? Think about it, right? Jesus was like a part of like God himself and he just got like thrown into our world. So like Jesus is the main character of an isekai. I think that anime needs to be done. It's got to be done. It has to be done. Isekai. isekai. You even had a lot of perk scientist. I'm a scientist now. Hell yeah. Now I'm a scientist being ejected from Eden of the Eden or the Noah reset. Well, I don't care how to say it. I'm trying my best here. Is it Isekai or Isakai? Isekai. Isekai. That's what I'm saying. Isekai. 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 Adam Neve was too. He's American. I am American. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Also, I'm also not a Japanese purist either, so if, if I say if I say the language wrong, I apologize. I do not mean it. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be as best as I can. However, let's just call it an accent. Isekai. Isekai. Because if I try to say it like the way that I imagine somebody who speaks Japanese would say it, it just might be more offensive than I think it is. So I'm just gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep with it. I'm gonna keep with it over here. Let's... Oh, what was I doing now? I lost my train of thought. No, I'm building the distillation cube. And for that, I need steel. So I need to go to the quarry. Cameron? To the quarry. Yes? You know you know the Hummer is a big, big vehicle, right? The Hummer is a big vehicle. The Hummer, everybody! That, that's, a... that's not a big vehicle anymore. It's the MEV Hummer HX, my electric vehicle. That thing looks kind of... It, Whoa, what it, is going on with the camera here? It's terrible. Yeah, well, that's crazy. It's terrible is what it is. I think it's a cute little car. Why would they do that to the Hummer? I think it's cute. Anybody can drive it's whatever terrible. they want. It looks a lot easier to parallel park. What I miss? I don't know. We just kind of... actual tiny car. We got some car stuff out of nowhere. You ruined it. Astra's confused. Truck. Yes. Truck. Truck your mother-in-law. Just kidding. They ruined it. That's not... I don't know who your mother-in-law is, but she doesn't deserve to be trucked. No, no. Hummer gotta get with the times. I don't have a mother-in-law. I don't either, technically. Not yet, at least. I have to get married first to have the mother-in-law. But, like, I'm already betrothed, so, like... What's the difference? But Asher wouldn't mind having a MILF, if MILF instead. Everybody knows that MILF instead stands for Mathematics, Information, Logistics, and Family Times. If anybody says, I like MILFs, then they're definitely talking about mathematics, information, logistics, and family times. Although, technically, that's MILF tea. Um, if... Okay, so... So... I have a question. If I produced a tea called MILF tea, would you buy it? And if you would, how much and what do you think it would taste like? I have a product development team on standby awaiting the crowdsourced answer. 
Ugh. Me too. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Um, product development team. Uh, we're no milf, no milf tea. We're 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 going oh, with we something else. In that. No, 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 no milf tea, no milf tea. We can't, we can't. We've already printed like a hundred thousand cans, but we've got to scrap it. We also don't have a flavor yet, so there's actually nothing in the cans yet. We got a little ahead of ourselves. Good to admit that. Have folks seen the smart car with the paint job that looks like the yellow and red kid cars? Dude, I know exactly what kind of car you're talking about. That's the that is the smart. Actually, no, that's the. Is it a smart car? Yeah, that's. I believe that's the smart. Oh my the, god, I the, love the it. The tiny one that looks like it's just one row. Oh my I, god, I, I love it. I've always it. pointed you out to them, them out to you in the city whenever I've seen one. Dude, I see smart cars all the time, but I've never seen one with that classic yellow and red paint shot. That is like that's throwback. That's throwback. That brings me back to the days. I remember. I remember you had to put the key in it. They had a little plastic key that was attached to it. You put the key in, and you're like, and you drive around the driveway. So my parents' driveway is actually incredibly steep. So what I and my brother would do is we would go all the way up to the top, the top of the driveway, and take like our scooters down, the skateboards down, those little cars down. Um, it was never super dangerous, uh, except when like when like uh, I think the scooter was the most dangerous part. I didn't wear a helmet. I didn't wear ankle braces, and it was bad. Welcome to the party, there, Christina. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. I think it should taste like a MILF with buy alt energy looking for someone young. Astro, would you mind describing that in base what? flavors? Are we talking like, is it more like lime? Perhaps the MILFs with buy alt energy is a little banana-like. I have questions and I need answers. And so does the product development team. So, what do you think a MILF with buy alt energy would taste like? I'm thinking what banana. What the fuck is buy alt energy? Bisexual alternative energy. I'm thinking bananas. I think it should be purple. Like purple as in like grape or like purple as in like lean, that drug that the kids are talking about. Grapefruits. Grapefruits? Grapefruits aren't purple. They don't have to be purple. I guess they don't have to be purple. Artificial dye, just purple. Okay, okay. We've got that. Write that down. Here's a paper towel. Here's a paper towel and, and, and a Sharpie. <laughs> Write it down, quickly. We've got quality content here. All right, purple, purple. Uh, not like the drug, uh, just purple. Or maybe it is like the drug. Honestly, leave it up to interpretation. I like that. Um, it's also gotta be grapefruity. I like that too. Um, um, what is, what is that? What is that? No, okay, wait, don't, don't draw penises. Please don't. Nope, no penis on stream. Anyway, also fun fact, the toy telephone that had eyes and wheels has a version that can work as a Bluetooth phone. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you MILF tea now in buy alt flavor. Thank you for coming to this focus group session. Um, there will be th th there's a, there's a pamphlet that you can fill on your way out. Um, just be kind. Be kind. Also, I love the idea that there is one of those creepy-ass phones out there that I can talk to via Bluetooth. I do Bluetooth stuff now. I can totally hack that. Actually, would you mind sending a blue an Amazon link to that or something? I am very interested. I like that idea. I'm gonna crack it. I'm gonna crack that. I'm gonna hack it. I'm gonna break it to pieces. I love that. <laughs> it's colored purple and tastes like the Blue Jolly Rancher mixed with the purple Sour Patch Kid. Blue and purple are different flavors, which is why, by our powers combined, we'll have a whole new kind of product flavor. They'll never know what hit them. They don't even know that we did hit them. They'll be like, they'll wake up in the middle of the night and be like, why do I have these three gashes on my hand? And then we'll be like, that's MILF by alt energy, my friend. MILF tea coming to a store near you. What does that sound? What the heck? What is it? Oh my god. Wait, is there? Oh my god! The forest has bird sounds! Yo! Listen to the birds! Ah! They tweeted! Look at it! I didn't know that the birds chirped in the forest! That's so cute! Wow, I just got completely distracted. What was I doing? 
I'm taking logs back to sweet home. Oh my god. Alabama. That completely stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. I forget the name. Where the skies are so blue. <laughs> Say it. Say Sweet Home Alabama one more time. I fucking dare you. Lord, I'm coming home to you. <laughs> Perfect. Astro will take 10 milk tea. Now coming in by all flavor. <laughs> I feel threatened. Uh, you should be threatened. Don't make me rip your teeth out. Why would you rip my teeth out? I wouldn't. I have nothing to do with spare teeth. What if someone wants to lick my teeth? Do, do you know somebody who wants to lick your teeth? I don't know. People are your weird are, are your teeth that covered in sugar and plaque that somebody needs to lick it clean? Why can't you just lick your own mouth clean teeth? I have questions, and I think this time an answer is not necessary. I don't know. I'm just saying things. You're just saying things? There's so many party hats coming off your head. It looks like a ponytail. Is it that bad? Am I a pretty ponytail? Yeah. <laughs> Remember that one Spongebob episode where Squidward is like, you look like a girl, and Spongebob was like, am I a pretty girl? That was Mr. Krabs that said that, actually. Oh, was it Mr. Krabs? <laughs> yes. You look like a girl. Am I a pretty girl? <laughs> I uh, love it. You're beautiful. <laughs> and the mailman. Spongebob with that trans-positive energy. Am I a pretty girl? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Now get out of here before I whack you with my bar spoon of doom. Just kidding. <laughs> Astro has licked someone's teeth recently. It's a weird experience. Well, is those teeth your own or were they somebody else's? In which case, I guess I've done the same. I've been to France. They, Not the country. They, Yo, where did I get a gold nugget from? Where did this happen? Whoa, I got a gold nugget. Whoa, hold on. Where did that happen? Ugh, somebody else's. Ugh, I know. Intimate activity. Ugh, girl. Ugh, genuine human connection. Ugh. Ew, teeth. Get yourself a girl with no teeth. So an old lady? Hey, not all old people don't have teeth. Dentures are a thing. A lot of them do, though. A lot of, a lot of old ladies don't have... I have silver nuggets? Yo! Where'd I get this shit from? Iron ore? I need to research. That's so cool. Study, please. Study. Yes. 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 Why can't I? Oh, I have no research. Oh, I gotta, I gotta use my things. Okay. Cool. Nice. Uh, this stuff. Are uh, links okay? You have Bluetooth. Yes. Links are links are totally okay. I don't have any of that stream bot stuff that doesn't let you do links. If you post an inappropriate link, I'll delete it. It's fine. Just like. Yeah, that's perfect. Imagine the head game though. Imagine! Just imagine the possibilities! Eight legs, Ariel. But Grimsy, seven vaginas. Grimsby, no, imagine! Forgive me, Father, I have sinned. Best Buy, not Amazon. That's fine. I'm gonna... I'm gonna open that up. Because I want a Bluetooth phone. How much is that? Sixty dollars?! What? That's sixty dollars? Why? What in the world? That looks so shitty. What kind of Bluetooth shit they putting in there? Also, the face doesn't look nearly as creepy as I remember when I was a kid. Look at this shit. Look at this. This is. This is sixty dollars. Also, for some reason, Best Buy wants to know my location. Uh, no thanks, Best Buy. I'll pass. What in the world? That is... That's intense. <laughs> oh my goodness. Time to switch topics real quick. A guy with no teeth trying to give head to a girl I think would not be as nice. Well, I'm sure there's, there's got to be a blog post down there. There's definitely an NSFW subreddit out there with a man who's had experience. We must ask them. 
Jesus also suffered strange things. I have no clue. I have no idea. Maybe Jesus had to suffer receiving bad head from a dude. That what? seems unfortunate. Jesus had to suffer through every sin of mankind and every bad thing. He definitely experienced receiving really bad head. Remember, children, no, no. if you don't sin, Jesus died for nothing. <laughs> never forget. Is that, never forget. In that context, then he is also also sucked chode. And not enjoyed it. Or maybe he did enjoy it. Actually, did Jesus suffer? So Jesus suffered all suffering, but did he also experience all the good too? He also experienced the best head. That's lovely. Yo, I can make silver nuggets into powder? What kind of powder can I get from a silver nugget? That sounds cool. I can make powder from... I can make gold powder? Graphite powder? Powder powder? Is this graphite powder? Yo! Graphite powder. I want... I want more graphite powder. Is head itself a sin? Well, if my noggin's sinful, then by all means, send me to hell. Let's go! But on the flip side, he also knows how to give it, too, because he's omnipotent. Omni-knowledgeable? Omnipotent? Omnip- No, that means all-powerful. Omni- What is it? Present. No, omnipresent means being everywhere at once. What is it? Omni- Oh! Uh, no! What's it called? That's Ben 10. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to pick up on that. Omniscient! Omniscient! That's the one! You got it. You got it. Omniscient. Five gold powder. Yo, I can't wait to see what kind of alchemy I can do with this shit. Silver powder? Silver powder, silver powder. Ba, 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 ba. Time to do some alchemy shit. Gonna do some things I regret. Hopefully, maybe not. Also, I can- I have electric powder. I have no idea where I got that from. That can't be decompo- that- that's cool. This, this is cool stuff. This is very cool stuff. I'm gonna try to mix- Let's see. Can I put... I want to put gold powder with water and see if that does me any good. Actually, okay, I'll be back. I'm going to go grab water. I want to see... Can I make, like, gold paint? Can I make silver paint? At the very least, I need to discover these recipes at least once. I gotta. I gotta. Oh, goodness. So, now that it's getting a little late... I, I, I still want to continue going. I am having a whale of a time with this, this stream right now, so I don't plan on stopping just yet. We might go for like another hour or so. I'm having a really great time here. But this gets to be the point where I start thinking about what the heck the thumbnail is supposed to be. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, this is my idea. It's going to have something to do with all powerfulness because we talked about like God and stuff and we're doing alchemy and stuff. And I think it's going to be me going like, ah! Anyway, electric powder, the bane of all victims of exploded batteries. I actually had to clean out a bunch of corroded battery acid today during work because somebody left the batteries in the device and they really shouldn't have. Oh, but they did. Oh, but they did. I need water. Maybe it should just be you doing a thinking pose of your, your head in the clouds and the background is literally just the clouds while there's fire going on. Oh, trust me. You. I have gotten much more philosophical on stream for a thumbnail like that. I think one time I streamed Minecraft for like eight hours and I'm pretty sure five hours of that was just me talking to myself. It was a good time though. I like to get those thoughts out of my head. It's nice to talk sometimes. Uh, now I got water. I'm gonna make some paint. I'm gonna see if I can make paint. Paint? Paint, 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 Okay, so... Hmm. I only have electric powder. So I'm gonna see what happens when I mix the electric powder with water. I only have one. This feels like a good bet. Let's see. Let's see. I got white paint. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. I like that. White paint is good. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna put that away over here. But I also got electric goo. Electricity a goo goo. I haven't researched that yet. Research. A key key. Reduce. Reuse. Ikiki. <laughs> I keep seeing that on TikTok. <laughs> I saw that the other day. I don't know what about that gets me so gets me so excited. Reduce. Reuse. <laughs> Ikiki. Oh! Oh! Everybody! My mother just responded to my Snapchat that I sent her! 
Let's see what she says. She sent me a picture of off-brand Skittles. Giggles. Wait, let me see. They're off-brand Skittles. They're giggles. 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 I love your mom so much. She, she I probably love, just. She sh probably I love just, my mother too. She probably had them around. It's like that's a good response to that. I love my mother too. She pops in <laughs> chats sometimes, and when she does, we uh, we blow for moms. <laughs> that's what I mean by blow. Stop dying over there! <laughs> or or continue dying. Honestly, you you do you. You got you got your thing going on. I don't want to interrupt that. Sir, phrasing, please. <laughs> Ma'am, phrasing. Okay. Fancy water, because it's in a fancy glass. <laughs> We're also posh around here. Piggies up. <laughs> Gentlemen. Gentle ladies. You do remember my family's English. <laughs> <laughs> We're all constantly slowly dying. We can't stop the aging process. No, we cannot. No, we cannot. As much as we want to, we can't. So water, water and gold powder don't go together. I know that now. But what about silver powder and water? Hmm? Can we get some can we get some chrome paint around here? A chrome paint job for the graveyard? Ooh, goo of death! That makes me think. What if I combine? Oh, I don't have death extract. Let's try I tried salt and water and that got death goo. Goo of death. Goo of death. All, goo of death. Guy, all the guys have it. But the goo but the goo of life. It brings life to the world. Depends how it's used. We're talking about semen, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. That's what we're referring to. If there are any children in chat, I'm sorry, but you had to learn eventually. Cellular decay doesn't start until about 25-ish, so I mean, that's when death really starts. I turn 24 in two days. I got one year left. I got one year left of purity. I guess purity purity. That's the wrong word to use. I am not innocent purity black paint Oh, I can make I can make black paint with graphite dust as well There are multiple ways to play There are many ways to play Also, can I like like sort these bet? Can I not sort these? Tell that to babies if you dare. Hey babies You came from your dad Or actually modern science could prove that wrong Modern science- you don't really need a dad with modern science, so... Hey, babies. Life's more complicated than that. So the, theme, the themes of the stream are... are what is life? Hey... What is life? What is Baby, don't hurt me! <laughs> don't hurt so me! What? Astro's turning 23 in two months, so you feel what? that? What is life? Sin for G Jesus. Men are obsolete. Sin for Jesus! What is this fucking stream? Yeah, we talk about whatever we want to. I'm gonna mix gold with oil. That sounds... Sounds good. Or what about... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, do I have any more gold dust? I want to combine gold with blood. Oh. Goo. Look at all the goo. I got pink goo. What kind of goo is that? I need to go grab some blood. What kind of goo is that? Goo of chaos. Ooh. Oh. Goo of chaos. I'm gonna go grab some blood and mix so, blood with gold so literally, and then silver. So literally chaos from Sonic Adventure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Chaos was like a gooey creature. Yeah. Gooey water creature. Also, my nose is incredibly itchy. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta... <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Why did that hurt? Because I, I scratched my nose a little too hard. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Oh. Super glue this glass up here at the beginning. Did I super glue it? No, I used crazy glue. Crazy, crazy glue. Whiptail lizards got around the no guys problem, if memory serves, and fish got creative. Humans aren't exactly there yet. Eh, K 
Chaos is best Sonic character, followed by all Chow. Obviously. Is it Chow or is it Cow? I think it's Chow. If, I've heard them say Chow. If if by creative you mean jizz in the air and hope for the best, then yes. That's pretty creative. That is not creative. That is. A Remember that time Miss Frizzle just... got all the children in the classroom jizzed on by fish? What? You know the magic school bus? Did that actually happen? The kids were inside of eggs and they had a cod like sperm on them. What? That was an episode. <laughs> what? Humans do that too. Dude, you remember that. I know, right? Miss Frizzle, please tell me this is going to be a normal field trip with the frizz. No way, man. Meanwhile, the redhead kid is just like, I don't want to get jizzed on again. I don't want to have to tell my parents this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Please, no. Miss Frizzle, no. Miss Frizzle was then sued for child endangerment. <laughs> that, that entire series is just a court case for child endangerment. Dude, and, some fish and... can change sex depending on context. Can't some bugs do that too? Here's the link. Oh, pop it. Here we go. With the frizz? No way, man. I'm going to play that on maximum volume. Oh, no. Here we go. We're watching it. No, stop! Why'd you- why'd you stop? See, look, this is the part in Magic School Bus where the kids get gist on by a fish. <laughs> Not appropriate. We're going to be the next generation of salmon. <laughs> oh my god, no, I don't want another YouTube video. No, thank you, YouTube. Please, no, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, for those who weren't already aware, now you are. You're welcome. I feel enlightened, to be fair. I feel very enlightened. Enlightened to the inner workings of the world. Anyway, gold and blood. Wait, don't I have blood? I thought I had blood. Where the blood? Where the blood at? Where the blood at? Yeah, craft that. The things we can do when kids gotta learn, but cause and effect is still a little goosey. Oh, I just got goo. Okay, well, how about, how about silver and blood? A that sounds cool. Silver and blood? Silver and blood. Goo of death. Silver and blood. I got goo of death. Sounds to me like I need to combine death powder and blood. But I have no blood. I'm never gonna forget this. I will never forget the- What, never forget how fish reproduce? No. That's the point of the magic school bus. It's to learn. That's not the point. <laughs> my face is so itchy. Oh my god. Maybe it's because I have nose hairs. Maybe that's why my nose is so incredibly itchy. Or maybe I'm sick. <coughs> that was me about to pretend sneezing on you, but I wouldn't do that. I gotta go to work. Actually, I really don't. I can work remotely. It doesn't matter how sick I am. The work must continue. Well, I need more blood. And for that, I need carrots. Don't know how that works. Heaven's Design Team is also fun. Is a it also a fun educational anime about anime that really looks goofing, look likes goofing on freaky penises, like ducks, animals about animals that really likes goofing on freak. Nice. Don't like ducks have, ducks have corkscrew penises, and I believe cats have barbed penises. Just saying. Now you know. Just saying, now we know. I wanna see what kind of stuff blue jelly turns into. I gotta take some of this shit out of my inventory. Hold on one second. It's alchemy time. I think I'm just gonna focus on alchemy for the rest of the stream. That feels right. That feels good. Oh, I wanted to make, oh, I wanted the solution cube. Did uh, I show you that fucking, uh, that, that voice acted Reddit series where God just creates things? I think you did. I think you've showed show me that one before. <laughs> I, I think it was okay. I think it's just a lot of one-liners. 
It's like, it's cool, but only for a little bit. It, it's more just putting character and just the weird fucking things that exist in the planet. Oh, for sure. I know I've never, oh, I, I've never really been into like one line or comedy. Like if you're just kind of up there like spitting things, like I'm not super a fan of it. Although there's one guy in particular, there's one comedian that I know of that basically does all one liners. And I really like, I really like his content. And his name is Benny. And he's the comedian who does stand up with Tourette's. If you've ever seen notes, if you've ever seen like videos on TikTok of this guy going like, hi there, I have Tourette's, fuck, it's a part of the act. That's Benny. I went to school with Benny and I, I took improv classes with him. He's hilarious. I think he was on Tosh.0. He's very cool. He's a very funny guy. Ducks hasn't been addressed, but barnacles, I think, were a topic. What's wrong with barnacles? What kind of penises do they have? Now I'm curious. Now you've got me questioning it. <laughs> And I am intrigued. I most certainly am. All right, what other kind of s stuff I can do? I need to put carrots. I need more blood. Gotta have more blood. Gotta have blood. Gotta have blood. Gotta have more bodies. Gotta get more blood. Gotta get that blood, blood, blood. Blood, blood, blood. You know how to work with me. You have less chance of making surgical error when extracting hard spares and soft spares. I can't research that yet. I want more blood. Can I get more blood? What is this? The dead won't sue you, but still you need to be careful. You have a reduced chance of making a surgical error when extracting important parts. I can't afford that yet. I need more blue points. Oh, that's the part of the song that's coming up now. Huh, nice. Ooh. So, I just realized how incredibly tired I am. I think I've been running on empty for like the past half hour. Oh, I just realized how tired I am. I thought I could keep going, but I'm actually really tired now. I think I'm going to do a couple more. I'm going to I'm gonna build the distillation cube. I'm going to build the distillation cube, and then I'm going to call it an evening. Oh, Distillation Cube 2, Electric Boogaloo. Like, oh, so barnacles. Like, you know, Half-Life and the ceiling things that make death ropes? That's not a tongue unless Sleepy Brain crossed some wires. Oh. 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 I've learned something new and quite disturbing today. I'm okay with that. I like to learn new things. Very good. Oh, I gotta wait for the iron. You know what I haven't done in a while? I haven't gone down into the, the dungeon. I'll go down to the dungeon. I'll go through shit in the dungeon. That's what I'll do. Why would its penis be sticky, though? I mean, they're always wet. They're underwater. Unless the tide is low, in which case, I guess they're not underwater. Lubricant? But that wouldn't be sticky. That would be slippery. Hmm. Sometimes it's sticky. Depends on the quality. Don't ask how I know that. You're correct! That's biology! It's Half-Life! In Half-Life- Oh, in Half-Life? Oh, um, that's exactly the question that I was addressing. Oh! Yes, in- in Half-Life. Yes, you know, why would it be sticky? With, My question's with, exactly. With, with the crab, Science doesn't have an answer. Brain. I don't think we have an answer. Science doesn't have an answer. You had crabs eat your brain. Well, it's a tongue in Half-Life, but they're based on barnacles. So... Maybe it's not actually a tongue. Perhaps it's something a little more... You know what I mean? <laughs> what? Something a little more... You know what I mean? No. You don't know what I mean? No. You mean you're not familiar with the... Actually, no. Okay, neither am I. I actually don't know what I'm talking about. And now, sports. Just kidding. There's no sports. I, I don't. I don't really play sports. I try to play soccer. I like soccer. I enjoy soccer, but I can't play with people. They're all too mean to me. They're like. They're like. You gotta hit the ball better, and I'm just like, screw you, mom. Just kidding. Like you're not my mom. The people on the basketball court, soccer court. What? What sport am I talking about again? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, the brain. The brain is a funny place. 
Oh, I need to put black ink in here. There we go. I need to have a place for my ink, too. Wow. I got a lot going on here. Got this health potion. I'll take the health potion with me. Ink. Put the ink in there. I'll take some of the ore up to the top floor. And then I'm going to go down in the dungeon while the iron cooks. And then when all the iron cooks, we need to get steel. When the steel cooks, we need to get gears. Graphite, silver. I only had one gold nugget and I, turned, I used it for alchemy. Nails, iron parts, metal scrap. Got some iron. Water will stay inside. Oh, I can put my... My prayer in the basement. I don't need to keep that with me. I don't need to pray on a moon day. However, tomorrow is Sunday. Lord's Day. Put that there. And I'll keep my wine with me. Apparently, wine heals me. And gives me a shit ton of energy. Wow. Look at that. That seems incredibly helpful down in the depths. Let's try that. Yeah, you know what? We're going to tackle the dungeon. We're all over the place with things to do today. All over the place. I wish wine did that for you. Like, increased your health points. I mean, I mean... Does it give you energy? Because, like, I feel like... I guess alcohol in general gives me energy. Or I get a little hyper. I get a little hyper sometimes. Ah, right, time to kill some monsters. I'll kill some monsters. Whoa, 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 what is that thing? Whoa, 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 whoa. It was on fire. Here's the keys. That was awesome. I could drink a whole bottle of wine and not feel a thing in an hour. Nice. I can drink most of my friends under the table and still feel okay. It's weird. I'm a very small person, but... I guess the metabolism works differently. The liver is a funny place. And so is my brain in times like that. No, it's sad. Fine, it's sad. Depression. I think it's a pretty cool ability. I will be fair though. I will be fair though. In my opinion, it does kind of suck to have a tolerance to alcohol because then it, it costs you more to get drunk at a bar if you went there to get drunk. I don't usually go to bars to get drunk though. I don't like to spend that much money. Not a fan. Oh, oh, fast bat, fast bat, fast times and bat bats. Please don't hurt me. Oh my God, you're literally on. Ah! Literally on fire. You're literally on fire. Literally. Literally conflagrating. What's up with all the fu- Oh god, there's more of them! Hi there. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, yeah, you're dead. Yes, you're dead. And then I'll look at the horizon, not a cloud, and the stormy weather's got you cold. Seems like it crept up out of nowhere, like ink fast. You're not quite what you're foretold. You'll never see it coming. You'll see that my mind is too fast for eyes. I want to play Persona. I haven't played Persona in a while. I miss those days. I, I prefer Persona 4 and 5. Uh, 4 and 3. I've never played five. Persona 3. My brother did. My younger brother Julian did. He played through the whole thing. Yo! What's going on over here? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, don't die! Do I lose stuff when I die? Really, what happens when I die? I guess I probably lost some items. But I didn't lose my wine. That's good. Cremation got easier. Normal Persona 5 or Royal? Ah! Uh, which, which Persona have you played? Um, Regular Persona 5 or the Royal? I've never played 5. I've played all the way through 4 and 3, though. Nice. Uh, right. for, as for which ones, I played through um, Portable and FES. FISA! And Golden. Let's put my red wine down there. There we go. I'm gonna try this again. But I do want to play some more Persona. I remember playing Persona 4 in my basement. Because um, I had the, the PlayStation down there. And my mother was like, I miss the sound of you guys playing games upstairs. Can you play that game upstairs, please? And that was a very touching moment in my life. I was like, wow, my mother enjoys the sound of me being noisy. I'm okay with that. It Thank was nice. Thankfully, we got through the sauna dungeon at that point. 
<laughs> Hi, my name is Kanji Tatsumi, and I enjoy Naked Men. Oh, yes. Y'all should watch the Hi, I'm Daisy Persona comics. It's great. Was, were, I believe we were playing for that dungeon, and, and like, your dad came, was coming down the stairs, and, oh, just, really? and just as he was coming down the stairs, the dialogue was like, hey there. <laughs> you oh just my immediately God. turned down the volume. I was like, I'm gonna lower this volume. My father doesn't need to experience this. No way, Jose. <laughs> hey, we don't do like you, you just made the funniest face like oh. Yo, that's a lot of gold! <laughs> I found gold! Strikers was also fun, as was the arena series, but the dancing all night series missed me. Uh was that like a I was dancing all night. I actually got to play the Arena series again in the form of uh, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. And I played that for like a solid six months and it was really Ooh, fun. A dead body just arrived. Which, which means I also got to pair uh, Persona characters with Ruby characters, which oh, was God. also oh, really fun. Oh god, oh god, oh. No, stop! Ah! 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 Don't touch me! Stop! Jeez, stop it! No, stop! I'm alive. Health potion. The Q series is also weird. That yeah. one struck me as odd. It, it, I don't know it, anything about it. It's just crossover? It's it's like that one other Atlas game. I forget what it's called. Shin Megami Tensei? No. Okay, that's that, that's another Persona one. Persona is Shin Megami Tensei if you really want to get into it. Didn't they just come out with another Shin Megami Tensei? Like five or something? I think they, I think they did, yeah. Nice. Meta or six. I don't even know what Shin Megami Tensei is. I think it's just like Demon Summoner or something? I, I don't know. I, I know nothing about the series. It sounds cool, though. Devil Summoner, I believe. Devil Summoner? I believe it. Persona is essentially just a... Um... Oh, I'm running out of energy. I need sandwich. Is this really all I have? Oh. Per Persona is basically just a um, spin-off series of Shin Megami Tensei. It's like, what if... What if oh, God! No, stop! It's like, what if there are kids in the real world? You should run. You should not fight that other one. I'm gonna go back up to the surface. <laughs> I'm almost dead. Clearly, I wasn't prepared for this. I need to wait till I can make a diamond sword, so I can be super good in Minecraft. I don't, I don't know if there's diamond swords in this. There's probably steel swords, which I definitely have not made yet. Can I teleport? Oh, I forgot. I can't teleport down here, which is the dumbest thing. I can swing my sword, sword, so my diamond sword, sword. You cannot ignore, no, you know ignore my Toby diamond actually, sword, sword. You know that. Toby's actually guilty of, of yes. sexual misconduct. Yep, I'm aware. It's, it's very bad. It's, it's very bad. Although, his the songs are still good. Eh. I feel no shame. Eh. Did you not like Nugget and a Biscuit? Oh, I do. I'm just kind of iffy about him. No. Well, as one person put it, can you really love... The art, if you kind of hate the artist. Mm, true. I think you can. I think we can love the art without it. I thought they were dismissed under fraud. Oh. There's new info to me. Huh. The plot thickens. The plot thickens. It's thick like blood. It's thick like milk that's been left out too long. That, SMTV. That in, in, in Odyssey. That was oh, Shin Megami Tensei 5 is new. Q is compared to Etrian Odyssey or something, but yeah. Shin Megami Tensei is where Persona and the Devil Survivor series came from. That's why all the standard demons and shadows and designs match. Oh! That's cool. I should play that sometime. I totally should. If Just gotta get access to it. I, I haven't played game. the... I haven't played Devil Summoner, that series, but I... I know that Devil Summoner is more fantasy and Persona is in the real world. Well, all right. Technically, Persona exists in multiple different worlds. Oh. So it's not really the real world. Actually, there's the shadow world too. It's, it's the, the world of the collective conscience. I'm, I'm talking about like setting wise, not like actual dimensions. Like sure. Fair point. I think there's like, one or two different dimensions when it comes to Persona, but for the most part, it takes place in our world. 
Like, unless something new came up that you're not aware of, the girl he was talking with, this is the Tobias topic, they broke up, and then, like, years later, when he got pretty famous, she decided to ruin his name, and then, of course, she said she made it up to ruin him. If that's, in fact, true, I hate people like that. But I guess we let the courts decide that type of stuff. Devil Survivor, what you said. Oh, Survivor, not Summoner. Two very different games. Back on the topic of Shin Megami Tensei Persona stuff. I will say, though, Nugget in a Biscuit, still a bop. Nugget, biscuit, nugget in a biscuit, nugget, biscuit, nugget in a biscuit, biscuit, nugget, biscuit, nugget in a biscuit, dripped it on the mashed potatoes. And then that part of the song where he goes, mmm. That's a, it's a good one. It's a good one. I do, I do like that. I like that very much. Yeah, yeah. Premium quality content. Premium quality content. Yeah. Time to do more math. What can I mix? Gold, but you know, I shouldn't just be playing around with gold powder. There's probably something very specific about it. How about ash and lube? I mean oil. Ash and lube? I got black paint. Again. Apparently. Oh, because it's oil-based paint, right? Yeah, 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 oil paint. That makes sense. That totally makes sense. Survivor 1 is Tokyo being walled off to see if the people there can prove to Big G that they don't need to be wiped off the mat. <laughs> that sounds like that one Rick and Morty episode where where the planets come, the big heads are like, basically, prove to us that we shouldn't annihilate you right now. Show me what you got. I'm not a huge Rick and Morty fan. However, I am aware of that one. And I did enjoy that one. Shamelessly. I did like that one. I think they came out with a new season. I gotta watch that at some point. But I also have so many other things I need to watch as well. Oh my god. Ugh. Astro just got a text from her saying she doesn't want to talk to you anymore. No! Whoa! Whoa! Astro, I'm so sorry. Is everything okay? Like, I, that might be not be. I, I don't want to. I don't want to pry too much. I, I send to love much. regardless. You have all our love and support. Observe, observe, observe the power of friendship. Friendship, love, love. This is wait. Get get in there. That's that's for you. you. That's for you. That's for you. Not that it will help very much, <laughs> but all I ever think to myself whenever times are bad is in five years, it'll be okay. Five years Cameron from now, five years from near Cameron will not worry about what happened today. Unless like I murdered somebody, in which case, maybe five years Cameron from now who will be in jail does care about that. Also, I think I'm running out of time to do my sermon. Let's do it. Sermon time. It's chill. It's chill. She said she just wasn't what she was. Just wasn't what she was looking for. Aww. I guess, like on the bright side and on the downside, I guess it can it can be better. There are more fish. I don't. I don't know. I don't want to go like cliche, like oh, there's more fish in the sea, like it's better off for you type thing. Like, dude, heartbreak is freaking annoying. That's just that sucks, man understand it's like ah but why you gotta bring it up uh, I mean I don't think there's any bad there's no good time for that stuff I was like I I have I have my own things that happen in my relationship and one of the things I brought up was like yo you like I don't well there was some tough stuff 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 going on and I had brought up to her they're like yo you know I don't really like the way things are right now and I just need to tell you about it because like I know you're busy with your clinical and stuff like that. Me talking about Anna in this case. And I know I'm busy with work and whatnot, but like, I gotta let this out of my chest now. And there's no good time to say it. I don't think there is any good time to say stuff like that. So I guess it's, it's stupid. It's stupid, but like, I guess better sooner than later. At the very least, it's not like you guys were married, right? Hypothetically speaking, y'all were married. And then 10 years from now, she drops that as well. In which case, ugh. At least she told you up front, too. Hopefully you'll find a better match. And w w when would you rather? Yeah, right? Like, in the past year, that'd be girl number six. So, yeah, fish in the sea. I get that. I get that. I mean, 
I've been told the success of the, the, the successful uh, results of dating apps. I'm not sure if you're a denizen of the internet world in the sense that you use dating apps to be able to get your date on, get your DTF on. Um, but I know uh, actually a coworker of mine who's blind, like actually blind, um, is apparently using dating apps now. I think I think the uh, I think one of the apps is very very accessible. I think that's why they're able to do it. And I'm like I don't know. I'm excited to hear about that stuff because I I like. I like the uh, I like being able to hear about other people's relationships. Relationships have their ups and downs, but like I feel like I get to like vicar vicariously live through like what other people are going through. It's like a really good TV show, except like it's real life, and if something happens, like I don't know, Joaquin just broke up with Mariah, then uh, we should be on Mariah's side or, or Joaquin's side. Maybe Joaquin was like, "Yo, I can't. This girl's crazy." Then we got to be on Joaquin's side, you know? Almost. Never really know. Information is power. Information is power. Well, I just spilled water on myself. You just spilled that everywhere. I, I made a mess. You it's almost happens. spilled it on your Fitbit. It happens. Well, the Fitbit's waterproof. I take a shower with this thing on. Really? Yeah. It's water waterproof. Have you ever gone like an obscene amount of shampoo on it? Yeah, absolutely. This Fitbit's like, wa pow. You met her off Tinder, ironically, and no, it's a hookup app. But dude, you're just looking for a person who wants to just talk. Honestly, if they're in like. There's got to be hundreds of other people on there who feel the exact same way. Like, there's definitely not... I'm sure 80% of people are like, Dude, I'm just trying to find somebody to sleep with tonight. But, I mean... To be fair... To be fair... I did have a Tinder account. For, like, a week. Right when I entered college. I was dating Anna. And she totally approved of it. Oh, I remember that. I never, I didn't know you shut it down that quickly. So what had happened was, I was like, I just want to make friends using this app because I wanted to get to know the people on campus. But then I very awkwardly met with one of my theater pals and they were like, yo, you have a Tinder? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I do. I'm trying to make friends on it. She's like, don't you have a fiance though? Like, yeah, but I'm trying to make friends on it. And that was when it clicked for you. And I was like, ah, I deleted my account. Or at least I think I did. Yeah. Some people look for friends on it. Like that's completely normal. It's not yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird to make friends. Like friends that's on there. that's a thing you can do there. That's like an option on there. I'm pretty sure. Like you can say like what it's, you're looking it's for. It's an option on a number of number of apps. And in fact, I think there are some apps that you can even filter out so you don't match with people that are not not looking for just friends. See, I believe that. I get that. But like, but like, just friends could be like just friends. Yeah, that gets or maybe. filtered out, too. <laughs> all right, all right. I don't know. I, for one, I'm not super familiar. But, oh, you got the gift that's you ca that you can't cancel. That was the, um... Oh, you brought it up earlier. Oh, my goodness. I don't remember what it was. I got to score off for that. I know, I remember you saying what that was. What was it? Oh, my God. Ah! Okay, apparently my chat doesn't scroll back that far. I do, I do remember you mentioning that, and I completely forgot what it was. Stupid Cameron. Silly Cameron. It was a plushie. Wait, it was a plushie of some sort. But what kind of plushie? Oh, maybe it was a Pokemon or something. Zero! Zero from uh, uh, Nightmare Nightmare Before Christmas. Well, you could keep it. You could, you, it's like a cons... <laughs> that sounds terrible. You could keep it as a consolation prize. I don't feel good saying that. I don't feel good saying that. I don't know. My mind went there. I'm sorry. Zero as in... Zero as in z zero, just regift. Yeah, yeah, better idea. Better, idea, better idea. Just, just regift it. Somebody will really like that. Somebody will really love that. I think. uh... Oh my god, this is taking so long. Why does this iron take so long to do? Man's best friend. Dead dogs. You're right. Not too upset about it. Feel free to make more jokes. I try not to lean into that stuff anyway. If the jokes come up. They happen. However, I will not do it on purpose. I'm gonna try not to. Although I personally find, in in all fairness, that laughter is the best medicine. I think that laughter is one of the best ways to get us out of any situation. At the very least, I'm pretty sure it's a psychological fact that if you smile, whether you mean to or not, you will get happier. Man's laughter. Ah, uh, that sand art though. Observe. 
Observe how the sand art changes when I'm meditating. That's interesting. I mean, Ian, if, if you're like in a daze when meditating, then that is a thing that can happen. True, true. Just Yo, dead bodies! I can go get blood now. Oh shit, a dead body! Oh shit, dog, a dead body. What are we gonna do with it? We're gonna rip all its guts out. That sounds like fun. Mmm, dead bodies. We should, um, not quite we right should invite the kids. Invite the kids? The kids all like that. Blood? Absolutely. Astro remembers when he used to meditate. I haven't meditated recently. I really should. I really should meditate. A I haven't taken the time to just think about, like, things in general. A dead body, ladies and gentlemen. Wowzers! So, was it... Was it awesome, or... Was, was it, awesome? it awesome, or was it awesome? Uh, uh, also for the Persona 4 High M Daisy comics. I have something that I can use blood for. I, I'm down with that. Can I decompose the skull or other body parts? I can decompose the intestines into shit? Yeah, let's do that. I can feel the booze going to my head, so I'm gonna get some water. Drink some water. Drink Wawa. Wawa good for you. Wawa. Wawa. I like Wawa, like Wawa and Wawa is for good. Extract some meat. Can I decompose the heart? Can I turn that into something? Can I hit do that? The heart can be distilled. Yeah, you know what? I'm in an alchemy mood, so we're going for it. Oh, I gotta eat stuff. I'm losing it. I want spicy water now. Like fire water? Well, I, I can share with you a random recipe from my book. Let's see, what else do we got here? I still have my book on standby. Let's see, what do we got in here? How about... Oh, spicy. Spicy water. The Polynesian pepper pot. Two measures of vodka, one measure of golden rum, four measures of pineapple juice, a half a measure of orjo, one teaspoon of lemon juice, cracked ice cubes, a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, a dash of Tabasco sauce, and a pinch of curry powder. That sounds lovely. Wow. That's a lot. Oh, you can also make a Polynesian sour in just Polynesia. Nice. I like the sound of that. I like cayenne pepper. I got cayenne pepper. I bought it for uh, the squash pie that I made. That actually does sound good. I'm not, I'm not a I'm not totally averse to like uh spicy drinks. It sounds cool. I'll probably if you give that to me, I'll probably have a shit later. Probably. The spiciest of waters. It actually does sound good. It won't be able to make the drink till Christmas. Uh, uh. Which drink in particular? The Pol Polynesian pepper pot? Is Christmas the time for cayenne peppers? It must be the time for cayenne peppers. I wouldn't have cayenne peppers at any other time. Just want straight Everclear honesty. I wouldn't. That could hurt. Although Anna did take a shot of pure Everclear once and it ended horribly. She puked minutes after. It's... According to a book that I have though, pure alcohol is apparently sweet to the taste buds. However, I don't think that it'll not evaporate to the point where it just feels like burning. But supposedly, 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 it's sweet. You can hold your alcohol pretty well. Oh, I believe you. I believe you. It's just, I, you know, just with all things, be careful. I trust you. Just be careful. You never know what might happen. Never know. Never, never know. And it's never, go never gonna know. I need two more grape seeds. For my wine collection. I have 48 silver now. Oh, wait, I need the wine seeds. I didn't actually buy the wine seeds. Here. Uh, one, two. Yeah. Finish. Oh, yo, yo. I'm a few gold. I'm a few silver pieces away from, I guess, I think the next level up of citizenry. Anyway, I think my iron finished. So I'm going to make as much steel as I need for the, pe for the parts. I need two pieces of steel. So let's make two pieces of steel. There we go. I also need bowls. So let's make bowls. Ceramic bowls? I need water. There's the water in here. Water's in here. One water, please. So I can make my bowls and then make those bowls I get stuff. Work, 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 work. Nice. And what else do I need for the distillation cube too? Which will be the last thing I do this evening. This is the longest stream I've had in a while. Thanks guys for sticking around. I really appreciate it. This has been fun. I've enjoyed it. What do we got? Distillation cube? 
Coob 2, Electric Boogaloo. I need complex iron parts and 30 pieces of stone and that stuff. So I also need complex iron parts. I can make those too. I can make those too. This has been a great stream. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. Hopefully all streams can be this exciting and awesome and super duper wonderful. But, you know, Wednesday can't always be good. Sometimes you gotta have bad Wednesdays too. It has. Yes! Validation! Cheers to that. Cheers to validation. How do you feel about that, Jerry? Jerry, how you doing, bud? Alright, you don't have any thoughts on that. You have no thoughts on the matter. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Skin can be used for paper. Skulls can be used for... Oh, skulls can be used for... Oh, I might as well extract everything from the body. Dude, I might as well. Look at that. Just take it all from the body. I can use all this. I can use all the dead body parts. Excellent. I'm gonna take the brain, too. I'm gonna take all the parts. I'm gonna take all your bones. Bones and your no parts. I'm gonna take your bones and your no good parts. I have no food. Oh, intestines can don't stack? Interesting. I don't like that either. Let's go distill things, you know? Uh, I think the heart can be distilled, so. What is the plot of this game? So, to describe it succinctly, you are from another world. You're from the real world, and you've been sent into this world where you have to take the role of the graveyard keeper, and all you want to do is get back home to your love. That's, that's pretty much it, I think. I, I mean, I, th I think that pretty much describes it. You just want to get back home to your love. And your love... We don't really know much about your love, but this is an isekai. I am the main character of an isekai video game. And that's the Graveyard Keeper. Take some carrot cutlets on me. Yeah. Cutlets. Go sleep. And so the point of the matter, so what we found out so far is that we need to collect a bunch of items to activate the portal to get back home. And one of those items was that endless book from before, you know, the Death Note. And so that's one of the many things that we... There's a, quite a few things that we need. Uh, but that's one of them. So the goal is to be able to find your way home, I guess. In whatever... However long it takes you. Uh, I think I've sunk almost 30 hours for this game now. And I still have no idea what I'm doing, to be perfectly honest. I'm just kind of making progress. Sort of, kind of. We're trying. We're trying. Let's destroy a brain. The brain gives... Also life solution. Not worth it. Can I... What does fat give? Fat gives slowing solution, it looks like. I think that was slowing solution. Yeah, slowing solution. I should keep some of that. Um, uh, the bat wings decompose into chaos solution, right? Yeah, it's chaos solution. Chaos control! Chaos control! Alright, let's put, put the bat wings back in the thing. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that happening to you. Honestly, a fresh start would be nice again. Yeah, I've always thought to myself, like, if I had, like, I've always, like, I've always been the kind of person where when, when doors close, I look forward to it because that just means another door is going to open, right? So when that kind of stuff happens, I'm, I kind of welcome it. Like, when high school ended, I was like, I can't wait for college. When college ended, I was a little hesitant for the rest of life in general. But I look forward to it. So when one door, for me, like, when things end, I'm I'm more or less okay with it. Like, it's just, it, it's usually a fresh start. With college, I didn't, I, like, I had a bunch of new people that I could meet. I made a bunch of new friends during college and even got to get closer to friends that I wasn't close with in high school because, well, life has other plans. And it was cool. So let's see what I can do with these intestines. The lack of tech would be a hard adjust for me. Yeah, I wouldn't like that. Oh, that gives life powder. So all the body parts give life powder, except for bones. Does bone gives life powder? Maybe. I don't know about that. Oh, bone gives white powder. Oh, I don't have any white powder. Huh. Not if you go into a new world that's even more advanced. This is true. This is a true point. It could be more advanced. How about white powder and oil? I think I'll probably make paint from this. Probably white paint. This is most definitely white paint, right? Definitely white paint. What about... 
white powder, and let's go chaos solution. Got some goo, goo of health. All right, how about white, uh, oh no, that's salt, that's salt. I wanted white powder, white powder, and health solution. Oh wait, did I do salt? I might have done salt by accident. Well, let's do white powder and salt, uh, life solution. Order life, life, life in the pursuit of If it then, who knows what'll happen? Oil goo, I knew that already. Maybe with salt and life powder? Salt and life? Oh wait, do I already know about that one? Do I? No, that made goo of health. Oh, health, health. So salt and health solution. Oh, but I already know about that. That makes spices. Yeah, I knew about that. Can I, can I use the spices? That'd be interesting. I wonder if I can craft with the spices. White powder. Can I can I do something with the spices? No, I don't think I can. It's just kind of a thing. Huh. Let me try. Oh, you know what? The steel's probably done. Let me go check out the steel. And let me put this life, this this spices somewhere. And the goo. The goo. The goo goes up here. Goo 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 goo. Nickelodeon. Interesting that a long time ago, the Nickelodeon was how you would change the music. That's how you'd do it. You'd put the nickel into the Nickelodeon. That's a, that's a thing. I've seen some Nickelodeons, some jukeboxes in my life. Although I don't think I've ever used one of them. Just, if I need to listen to music, I'll put my earbuds in. Play Spotify, I guess. I guess I'm too far beyond. Actually, well, I guess depending on what I, if I'm at a, like a bar or something, then sometimes the ambiance is nice. Sometimes the ambiance is very nice. Oh, I've run out of energy again. Time to eat more carrots. Uh, let's try... Oh, can I decompose beeswax? What does that give me? Slowing solution. Very good. Very good, very good. What else have we got? Uh, the hiccup grass gives us health solution. Uh, la 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 la. The maggot does stuff. I think the green jelly also gives us health solution. Various different types of goo. I got goo of health. I got I got goo of death. So let's do let's do chaos solution. I want to say I wanted that for something. The solution is always chaos. Sometimes, sometimes, maybe more, maybe more. Imagine, imagine the alchemical possibilities chaos. of chaos. All right, do we got any more stuff in here? I can smush brain juice. I think I'll just put these in the parts for now. I don't really... I'm good with it. It seems like most of the parts, aside from the bones, just turn into life stuff. And I got plenty of life stuff right now. I got plenty of dead bodies. It happens. It happens a lot. Lots of death occur in this world. I'll put the skulls in there too. I've got more... I've got enough skulls for another pile of skulls over in my occult center. Alright, stealing got... Uh, I should have more bowls. So let's make... Four steel parts. We also need four complex iron parts. I think I have four. Uh, I have one complex iron part, so we'll make some more. There we go. Four complex iron parts, and I need 30 pieces of stone. So I'm going to go up and grab some stone as well. And then that should be distillation cube two, which I don't know if that lets, allows us to make more stuff. Oh my god, I had steel parts. Look at that. How much stone do I have? Do I have any stone? No, I actually got to go up there for that. Wow, I spent all that time on that. Eh, I had a good time. Let's make some stone. Let's make stone. No. Da -da 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 -do. That's 30 pieces of stone. That's exactly how many we need. So let's do it. And then we'll make the dissolution cube and then we'll probably call it a night. I just got... I clicked some water on me by accident. It happens sometimes. Do -do 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 -do. Yum, 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 carrots. Yummy, yummy. Carrots are good for you. You know they are. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. And they make your eyesight good? Maybe? Probably. What was that? I don't remember. You lied to me. The he just sticks the carrots are good for your eyes. Oh, and then he puts the carrots in his eyes like you lied to me. Because now he can't see it all. Because he's blind. Because he's just stuck carrots in his eyes. That's not how carrots help your eyesight, by the way. That's not how we do it. That's not how the world works. 
Well, I have 30 pieces of stone now. I've got my parts. I've got my complex iron parts, the steel ones. It's great. Oh, oh, update. Re is talking to Astro again. He's mega confused, but all hope is not lost. I, that's, that sounds like a good thing to me, but like, I worry for mind games. I, I worry anyways. Oh, I need to put my distillation cube in the right location. I need to move my desk around. Oh my god! I don't know if there's hope. There's always hope! I have no space! Where can I put it? Anywhere? Oh, I can put it right here. Just kidding. Yep, definitely putting it there. Plot twist! You've really been a rabbit all along, digging holes and living in carrots. Maybe we've all been rabbits this entire time. Do rabbits even have a concept of relationships? Does monogamy exist in the rabbit world? I don't know. So now at this distillation cube, do I just distill better? Or do I distill faster? I don't know. I'm gonna have honey on both of them and see which one's faster. I'm guessing this one's faster. She just wants attention, but she doesn't want your heart. Eh. I mean, at the very least, like, stay friends? Stay friends is good. I like that. I like that prospect. Alright, so the distillation cube is a bit faster than the other distillation thing. But we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. On the bright side, I'm glad to see things at least picking up from a more positive note. Maybe it won't blossom into that relationship that we so hope things to be. But at the very least, like, you know, at least you're still talking again. And I think that's, I think that's good. Communicate, uh, besides... And I mean, I feel like everybody's heard it multiple times, but I feel like good communication is how relationships continue, start, and prosper. So, things could be well. Things could be good. Things could be very good. I hope, I hope to goodness that everything goes well going forward. I hate to leave things on such a little bit of a downing note, but you, I don't think I feel broken. Yes! <laughs> Perfect. Just, just confused. Hey, you know what? Confusion happens sometimes, and I think... I, I think that's great. That That's wonderful. Honestly, that is a much better point than where we were at before. And that's a good thing. So we're going to keep with that. We're going to hold on to whatever bits of positivity that we have. And roll with it, baby. That's the show, everybody. That's what we've got. I had a wonderful time playing Graveyard Keeper this week. I will see you all on Sunday. Because I have... Thursday's busy. Thursday's laundry day. Friday's birthday day. Saturday is the day that I observe of the birthday because my aunt, my fiance is taking me out for the day. I think we're doing like Chinese dumpling stuff. What time Sunday? Probably early in the morning. I think it'll be a lovely time because I, I want to do a birthday stream and the birthday hasn't happened yet. So that'll be observed on Sunday. That's what we'll do it. It'll be a lovely time. It's, uh, it's 10 a.m. So I think it's on the stream calendar. It's on the calendar. It's on the calendar. It's definitely on the calendar. In any case too, while we wrap things up over here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass everybody over to good pal, good pal, good pal, Oreo. He's a good, he's a wonderful guy. That's what we're gonna go with. So, thank you everybody. Thank you everybody so much for coming around. I, I enjoy it. I, I love, I love having everybody around. It's just like, honestly, with the schedule that I'm currently on right now, it's just really, really nice to like, come back on a, on a, like, just kind of come back during the week. Like, this is my halfway point of the week. And it's just really nice to come back and just hang around with people. Just see what everybody's got to say. And just play a game. It's a lovely time. Yo, party indeed, my friends. That's what we get. Love the stream. I loved it too, guys. I really, really did. If you don't get on, I hope you have a good one. No problem at all. Have a lovely one, Lorelei. Thank you to everybody. It's been, it's been lovely. Whatever time it is, no matter where you are, I hope you have a wonderful rest of it. Day. Twilight, dawn, daylight savings time? That's a thing now. <laughs> Thanks, Ben Franklin. The party must continue wherever you are. My my hat's off to everybody. And uh, welcome again to all the new VIPs sticking around for a month. Love to see it. Peace out, everybody. Bye. <laughs>